Not literally, Damo. Don't, don't. <laughs> no, I didn't see that. I didn't see that the first time someone sent it to me. And I was like, oh, damn. Yo, that listen, was terrible timing. Well, terrible I'm going to say something to y'all, man. I had a million people hit me up. Oh, yeah, man. Now you want to you wanna switch up. You want to go off on Giannis now. Hey, look, man, I told y'all. I got, man, I got even smoke for everybody. If you don't get it done, you get cooked. If you if you get it done, you get praised. Simple as that. And then not only that, like I said, yeah, I picked Giannis to win and walk through it. I was wrong. I'm human. I ain't walk on water. I ain't turn water into wine. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Straight like that. I ain't make I ain't make the blind seat. I ain't make the cripple walk. So, like I said, we all get things wrong, you know? But just keep that same damn energy. When the Boston Celtics get their ass at home in the first round, too. I want, all you, I want all you suckers to keep that same goddamn energy that y'all got right now. Because, see, I'm on Giannis helmet because I don't give him no injury excuse for last night. This ain't no fake outrage, nigga. I'm cut from a Kobe Bryant cloth. You understand what I'm saying? And that's killer be killed out on the basketball court. And at the end of the day, I watch Giannis miss all them goddamn free throws in the clutch last night that could have sealed the game. Mm-hmm. He, he, at home. At home, bro. You've been through this position before. You had your guys. You played. The games you played, they lost. So it ain't nothing I can say. And Jimmy outplayed y'all, and you didn't even jump. You didn't even say, look, I'm taking Jimmy full time. Bean would have got on him full time. Mike would have got. Mike would have said, you know what, Scotty? He, he cooking you. I'm getting on him. The great ones do that. Giannis ran from that smoke. So I'm not finna run. I'm not finna not cook his ass, too. He deserved to get cooked. No injury excuse. No excuse about no foul at the end because that ain't what lost the game. They had a bigger lead. They let Jimmy two games in a row. They let Jimmy walk them down. He walked them down at the end of the game, bro. They, you can't excuse any Giannis after the game. I didn't know that this used to be the failure. Man, shut your ass up, nigga. It's a failure. It's a goddamn failure. You're the number one seed. Smoking dudes all season. You lose in the first round. It's a failure. You get smoked. You ain't lose. You got smoked in five games. Y'all got walked at home in five games. Jimmy Butler got dudes that's hurt all around him. He got a, he got a, a, a pitch patch roster, bro. Oh, uh, old boy was so bad they had to put him to the bench. Old boy that came from Miami. What's the boy's name? Uh, uh, uh I mean, came from Toronto. Jay, Jay Crowder. No, no, no. The boy that came from Toronto that, uh, that played over with uh Jimmy Butler and so bad. Uh, Fat Lowry. He he been so bad they put him on the bench. Tyler Hero hurt. They got Kevin Love. <laughs> the Cavs didn't want Kevin Love. They sent Kevin Love a lullaby. These are the dudes he playing with, and he smoked them niggas. Smoked them. Easy work. No excuses, man. No excuses, bro. I'll watch Giannis miss free throws in the clutch, bro. I can't come on here today and with a good heart say, hey, man, I think he that dude after what I seen last night. Because what I seen last night isn't growth and progression from what I seen from when he won a championship. If he was doing everything he could do, guarding Jimmy Butler in the times he needed to take him, making his free throws down the stretch, and they still lost, I could come in here and say, hey, man, Bud got to go today, which he should be fired to because he's an incompetent coach. And I'm going to say this right now. The Knicks is going to smoke Miami. I'm going to tell y'all why. You watch what Tibbs do to Jimmy Butler. He's going to do. Tom, why your face like that? Uh, Tom, why your face like that? Hold up, y'all. Hold up, y'all. And we're going to get to that game. We're going to get to that. Look, it's coming to an end. I promise y'all this. Tibbs (laughs) going to watch. Hey, we are are, are going to get to that game. We're going to get to that. But let's let's stick right here to the Miami Heat and Milwaukee Bucks. Yo, Chill Town, I got to hear from you on the, on on this matter. Yo, man, confidence is something else, man. You, you, you'd be surprised what you could do when you're confident, especially when the other person ain't as confident. And somebody needed to remind Giannis Antetokounmpo, yo, you are Giannis Antetokounmpo. You are the best player on the planet. And this is who's standing in front of you to get to the championship. Only except that got flipped around. That was Jimmy Butler going, this is the best player on the planet? This is the dude y'all say is the guy? In fact, it's you dude standing in front of us to get to the championship. The last time I seen a guy that good look like a deer in headlights was in 2011 in the NBA Finals. Giannis wanted nothing to do with that game at the end and in the third and the fourth quarter. He wanted nothing to do with it. Do not look at the box score and go, yo, he went 38 and 20. Do not let that fool you. Hey, Giannis, you know, turned, let me say, I want to say this, too, this is why I always took so much heat, bro. 
and I want y'all to think about this. You too, Fluent. LeBron used to have these type of numbers in the playoffs. And I would cook LeBron. Everybody said, hey, man, you hating, man. He had 38 and uh, tw- uh, 15 or 8 assists or whatever. Bro, it's this type of stuff in the games that happened that we talking about, bro. That's the difference between greatness and just filling the stat sheet, bro. Last night, Giannis just filled the stat sheet. When it was time, bro, he did not deliver the goods, bro. He did. I was so disappointed in this dude, bro. I could not believe this man sat up there and missed all them free throws with the game on the line. I couldn't believe that this dude wouldn't jump on Jimmy Butler when he seen him. This dude gave you 100 points in almost two games. <laughs> I can't, bro, man, my heart broken today, bro. Real talk. So, um, so let so, me just say, because we're throwing a lot, and, and deservedly so, throwing a lot of shade at Giannis as, as, as he deserves. But let's, let's, let's add, right? He, they got out coached. Bud mm-hmm. got out coached. I know Mars and, and Dub and others have said this. I said it was a bad hire from the beginning. You guys don't remember this far back. Jay probably does because it was Bud was either going to Milwaukee or Toronto. And I'm like, do not hire him. Do not hire Bud. So he's just showing that. He got out coach. Drew Holiday, is it Bud's fault? Because he was getting cooked. as the best de- perimeter defender in the league. He's getting cooked. And, they, and Bud didn't do him any favors. In terms of Giannis... Who who I didn't pick the Bucks, but I did pick him as the MVP. Man, that's a tough one to take on the chin right there. And let me say this, because he's my you know he's my favorite player. He's my countryman, and I'll I'll you know I'll tell say it in Greek to you later. But for now, it is a, it is a failure. And yes, failures are steps to success, a million percent. Mm-hmm. But you can't be the number one seed. Let me say it again: you can't be the number one seed and lose in the first round to the eight seed. Period. You can't. Otherwise, it's a failure. There's excuses. There's reasons that you can't. And you did. So it's a failure. Yep. And and I also want to, I, I, what I also want to talk about more than anything, I want to talk about that Miami Heat team and not just how they fought, how they fought together. I mean, Jimmy Butler had three guys in both Kyle, in Kyle Lowry, Kevin Love, and Bam Adebayo foul out of the game. He's on the floor against the number one seed with six undrafted guys. <laughs> I want to make sure that we clear on that. He's on the floor with six undrafted guys against the favor to win the NBA championship. And they pull it out. Gabe Vincent is keeping the defense honest, going downhill. You don't have to be, you don't have to convert Ooh. on everything. Gabe, exactly. Ooh. Exactly, Tone. You don't have to convert on anything, on everything, but you got to keep the defense honest. Matt Stroops, you have to keep the defense honest, which is what these guys did. They Ooh. kept the defense honest. Kevin Love, who I, to this day, still didn't understand why Spo didn't have him in the game against Atlanta because the one thing, the one thing Kevin Love could do more than anything, he could glass clean. Mm-hmm. He will glass clean. So mm-hmm. with that being said, these dudes got outworked. Not only did they got out, not only did they get outworked, They got outplayed by a better coach and a better team. And with all of that being said, they're going home. Goodbye. I just want to say um, it's crazy. Um, I got two. I got two backwards left. Two. (laughs) With two two names. With two names. One's for Giannis and one's for Drew. Because last night watching that game, especially the end of that game, Giannis filled the stat sheet up like he's supposed to do. He's supposed to be the best player in the world. And I was in this very spot yesterday saying, if Giannis goes outside, that's one step closer to a conversation that we used to have that we're going to have to have again. Here we go. I, I'm not – listen, go. we still – listen, uh-huh. the Lakers lost. The Lakers lost, so I'm not going to go crazy. So, but there was a certain guy that we definitely carried last night. You go for 30 yeah, say, that there was, hey, there was a guy that played like the best player on the court last night, even though we lost, but we're not going to go there. We're going to say that. All I'm saying is the best player in the NBA to me, when an inbound's coming in his free throw situation, oh he's, not throwing the, he's not throwing the ball out of bounds. Oh my the God. best player to me, and especially when you're arguing who's the better defender, best defender, he's not ducking a challenge when your season is on the line. The best player in the world to me, definitely when the last possession to save your season is on the line, He's not throwing himself out of bounds to be out the play. Because that's what it was. Let's call a spade a spade. Giannis came down court. Oh, I'm going to lose the ball. I'm going to jump out of bounds and give it to Chris Middleton. Because he's Batman. I'm Nightwing. 
That uh, that doesn't. That's not the best player in the world to me. Well, who's the best player in the world? How how? I mean, on. obviously it's Jokic. At this point, Jokic and Embiid. I want to go back a step. End of, regulation, end of regulation, 0. 0.5 mm -hmm. seconds left. I know it's hard to get a shot off in 0. 0.5 seconds, but why aren't you calling a timeout? Because time your, oh, your coach bud. Because your coach bud. That's the reason. Hold on. Players can call timeouts. Players can call timeouts. Players can call timeouts. But hold on. How the heck do you have an overtime? You're down, what, one? And you don't even get a shot up? That's just, he got to be You don't even fired. get a shot? Like he gave the ball nothing. to Grayson Allen. Grayson Allen. Allen. With the hey, game on the line. Understand? I might miss, but I'm shooting. Put that in the short, what Tone just said. That, I need, I need y'all to put that in the short because that needs to go viral, bro. Dude need to be fired off the strength that they didn't get a shot off, bro. That's <laughs> disgusting, man. You didn't get a shot it. off with the season game on the line. Season season line. Season on the line. You didn't get a shot off. I couldn't, bro. Listen, let me tell y'all something, man. I'm take, hey, hey, Ron, I know you say you want to talk about this. Bro, this is the reason why... He has to be fired. And I'm, I'm not going to get deep in this. I'm going to tell y'all something. Watch what Thibodeau do to Jimmy next series. The Knicks going to smoke these dudes. Watch what I tell y'all. I got the Knicks in five. Watch what I tell you. Because I'm going to tell y'all something. Tibbs ain't going to let you sit up there and score 100 points damn near in two oh, games. Uh, and, right. and, what, and, but, and sorry ass Bud had enough nerve to say, oh, we didn't need to double team Jimmy. I would have slapped his ass. Oh, yo, I swear to God, bro. I, 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 hey, bro. <laughs> Oh that's, that's one oh time. That's one time a player should have should have choked the coach. Oh, <laughs> yeah, for oh, oh, on top of that, on top of that too. Let's not let's not. We got to put pressure on him as well because I haven't. Listen, I have been a big, big, big hater to Jimmy Butler over the couple years. I, I, I've I've said things. I've made jokes. I've made tweets. I have never. Five. I've never seen somebody. Dog a man like he dogged you holiday last night. It's so five. Five. Oh, that's that's five. His face, y'all owe me an apology. That's the best guard in the NBA. That's the best guard in the NBA. That's the best guard. All that. Team. Hey, literally sat there in his face. You're nothing. What are you to me? Like, you're little. You're, you're a baby. Like, literally put a shoulder in his chest, hit a shot. What are you doing? What, staring at him as he's killing your season. Yo, Drew, I'm making your pack fatter. I and, and 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 on top of all of that, what you just said, we just gonna stand around. We just gonna watch it. We just gonna let this happen. Just watch. Just let on, it. on, on top just of that, not not it. not not on. Not only is my brother getting stomped right in front of me, I'm just gonna stand there. I'm just gonna, I'm I'm just gonna just stand and I'm gonna watch. I'm, gonna I'm not. Just, I'm not gonna do anything about it. Hey, so hey, coach, I remember. Coach, I'm not gonna change anything. I'm not gonna make no adjustments. We're not gonna get the ball out of Jimmy's hands. We're just gonna let him, little boy Drew Holiday. I remember hey, hearing, our season's on the line. I remember hearing in game seven of the NBA in the Eastern Conference Finals in 98 where Phil Jackson is telling us to switch. And Jay makes it clear, I'm not switching. I'm chasing. Where is that energy with the best player on the floor in Giannis coming into the huddle saying, quote, Drew, can you score the rest of the points? Chris, can you score the rest of the points? 22, I'll deal with him. Don't worry about him for the rest of the night. I will deal with him. You do score the rest of the points. Not, yo, I may help you make adjustments. I'm going to make the adjustment. Chris, you score the rest of the points. Drew, you score the rest of the points. You do score the rest of the points. You ain't scoring another bucket for the rest of the night. I don't know. I don't know who said it. I don't know who said it in our in our in our chat, but whoever said they should have fired Bud before overtime. That is genius. That. that is I genius. That. Look, I you said, said that. that is genius. I, I want to. Can I? Can I pass the floor to Mars? Because I know he deserves yeah, it yeah. to a little. Go ahead, yeah, Mars. Yeah, ab absolutely, Go Mars. Ahead, Mars. Um, I tried to tell. I you told guys. you so. Yeah, six, six months ago, before the season started, Mars, I said. I hate you, bitch. You did. That's fine. That's fine. I, 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 I do hate you. I do hate you, six, Mars. Yes, six you months ago, before yes, the season did. started, I said Coach Bud would be the downfall of this team. You did say I, that. I said their half court offense was not going to work in the playoffs because they don't have any viable shot creation. And their system is egregious. And Coach Bud's plan is give the ball to Yanis and pray he gets to the rim. I also said, me and Dub. Chris Middleton is not whatever you guys seem to believe he was. He's not this viable shot creating option in the playoffs. He's not. Drew Holiday is not a scorer in the playoffs at all. No matter how good he is in the regular season at scoring, he is not going to do that in the playoffs. We tried to say the Bucs were not making it out the East. Now, did I think Miami had a chance of beating them? No. I knew someone was going to expose every single flaw they had. 
I just thought it would come later down the line against Philly or Boston. But what actually happened was Miami exposed every single floor that mm. me and Dub tried to tell you the Bucks had the whole year. Ugh. Now, Coach Bud should not have had a job the whole time. Him winning a chip in 2021 is the whole reason he still has a job. He should not be employed. The fact that he's still employed as of this very second is disappointing. But talking Wrong. about Yanni, I hate you too. I keep checking ESPN, waiting to hear the announcement that he's been fired. He, he should have been fired the moment bro, the buzzer you, went. He should have been out. Dale now. You gonna pull up Dale now, huh, Ron? You trying to because you want to you want these boys to gang up, huh? And talk their shit. <laughs> no, ticket, that ain't happening. No, ticket, that no, uh-uh. no, ticket, ain't that ain't happening. They 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 jumping on you, ticket. I ain't trying to hear it. I know what he's doing. He pulled Dale up right now so that Dale can talk their shit about Giannis. I already know what he's gonna do because I've been getting on about Katie Glad, man. You Lamar, go ahead, dog. Y'all got it today, man. And all, today, all this, all this talk, talk about, all this talk about Yanis. Yanis did nothing last night. Nothing about Yanis's game is anything new. We knew he couldn't make free throws. We knew he wasn't a viable shot creator. We knew his perimeter scoring was questionable. We knew he wasn't a primary on-ball defender. We've known these things for four years. Nothing he did last night was something he his game has shown us it wasn't true. We've always known every single thing about Yanis. And I had to listen and be told that Yanis was by far and away the best player on earth, despite every single flaw he had. Now I'm looking in the chat. The poll went up. Is Yanis the best player in the world? 80% of people said no. You guys just all switched up after five games, knowing every flaw Yanis had the whole time. No, that doesn't make sense. Mars, me and you had this conversation and you was right about Bud. Because it was me and you that got into Mm -hmm. an argument before the season. But I'm going to say this to you, bro. I roll with Giannis because I like Giannis. I respect Giannis. But I've seen Giannis come up big in moments. I've seen him in the NBA Finals make 16 out of 17 free throws to Mm -hmm. seal a game. So you saying that he couldn't do it. No, he can do it. He didn't do it last night in the moments where they needed him. And as I said, I don't use injury excuses because Miami had all kind of injuries. At this point, everybody's hurt and banged up. So at the end of the day, they didn't win any games with Giannis, and they won a game without him. To me, the situation is this, bro. Ime Udoka messed up. He took the Houston Rockets job too soon. Right. He right. sat and waited. This job right here, Ooh, this would have been a perfect job for him. Oh, he, man. He, he took oh, the job. He, 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 like, he likes the oh, Houston project. You know, agent, like, like, he he like, like, agent, you have Ime Udoka being the head coach of seven teams, though. Like, you, you got to pick one. And he should have picked the Bucks. Yeah, he probably should have picked him. In May in Milwaukee, been, that would have been You disgusting. had Toronto, Milwaukee, all these other teams. Uh, possibly the Celtics. If Cockeye gets sent out here in the first round, you never know how they're going to feel. Because you know the Boston Celtics fans going to uh, get mad. And like I said, Mars, you and Dub, y- you little two punks. Don't worry. I'm going to get y'all ass at the end of the Celtics series. <laughs> and they lose. So oh, I, I, I don't care about it. If the Celtics yeah, lose, yo, I don't hey, care. up here with Dub Capping. I heard you on you all show, Open Gym. I've always had Philly. Okay, I've no, no, always had Philly. Oh, okay, well, guess what? We'll get, hey, there you go. When, 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 when Philly lose, answer, when Philly too. lose, sure, you can yeah, grow yeah, me all you want. I, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, had the, I, I had the Milwaukee Bucks winning the NBA championship. I want to be. I want to be one hundred percent clear. I had the Milwaukee Bucks winning the NBA championship, and the reason why I had the Milwaukee Bucks winning the NBA championship because I thought that they'd see the Boston Celtics in the East Finals, and I thought at the end of the day. Jason Tatum would have to outplay Giannis, and I didn't think he could do that. Only except Jimmy Butler outplayed Giannis in round Jimmy, one. Jimmy, Jimmy Butler might be better than Jason Tatum. He Jimmy might. Butler is better. Jimmy Butler is better because yesterday I flew in a chill. Jay admitted it. Jimmy Butler over Jason Tatum. That, that's, also, that's also just a recency bias because no one was saying that four, four months ago. I, I think I think they've been in the same tier for a while, but five games. Like, like I said, this is this thing about play of Jimmy that I spoke about. Every time he goes off in the playoffs, everyone overreacts and says Jimmy's a top five player. And he then guess not. what? He'll No, he's not. And then he'll have a series where maybe it's not 37 a game and it might be 25 a game. And they're like, well, he's top 10. And then the regular season will come and it's like, okay, maybe he's not top 10. And then the playoffs will come again. Oh, he's top five. Like, stop overreacting to everything that happens. I'm not, oh, Mars, Mars, that, that, that's not something to overreact to, though. Uh, almost 98 you know, points in two mean, games. No, right. that's, two that's games. Two games, bro. Two games is not enough to become a top five player. beating possibly... The so, most talented team in the league. Ho- ho- hold on, Ron. Hold on, Ron. That's so, great. like you just He's said, ninety-eight. Five. Right, you just said ninety-eight points in two games. So, the yeah. next series ticket, you got the Knicks smoking them. Yes, which means, gotta, hold on, hold no, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got the Knicks smoking them. No, no, so no, the Knicks saying, smoke on, them. Yeah, listen, that means well, hold on, that means that Jimmy on. Butler is going to get bottled up. So, we got to have the same energy for Jimmy Butler. We got to have the same energy for Jimmy Butler in the next series. Hold on, but chill, town. Respect my gangster on this. Listen, I'm saying. I'm saying to you this. 
You got to, the reason why I'm saying is, look at who Miami got. Them dudes ain't good. Jimmy have elevated those guys. That team he got is not a viable team. He have, he have, so what I'm saying to you is this, any coach with common sense, even if Jimmy was to give you numbers, he could eliminate them, Jimmy, from what he's been doing by doubling him and taking the ball out of his hands and daring the other guys to beat you because he don't have other guys on that team. So that's my whole point to you about what right. Tim is going to do to him. It's not to say he ain't top five or he ain't – because when you see a guy put on like that with the talent that he didn't have, because right. even dubbing them, they was crying about the talent he didn't have, bro. Bro, like I said before, man, at the end of so, the day – So so, so, so if that's true, box, Ticket, so, so if that's true, Ticket, then that means that if – Coach Bud does that. If Coach Bud does what you said that Tibbs is going to do, where he's basically taking Jimmy out of the game, where we're going to double him, we're going to blitz him, and we're going to make everybody else do this. And Jimmy has, I don't know, a 18 or 20 a game series. Are we still talking about Jimmy Butler as a top five player? Yeah, because he, you're oh. going to look at it. You're, oh no, you're going to look at his teammates and say, "Well, look, he didn't because he showed you this series. He did some supernatural shit." And, and it, one last thing I want to put in real quick, mm -hmm. bro. They got to listen. The NBA, they need to do this. I know Fluent's going to agree with me. Bro, you guys got to start publicizing punishment for the referees, bro. The same way y'all I was about to talk about that. I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't, make no, I don't make no freaking excuses, bro. But that shit was egregious last night, bro. Bro, you cannot push somebody like that and right score in, a bucket and not right get any call, bro. You can't right do that, bro. You me. cannot. That is egregious, bro. That is absolutely. That's playoff as a, basketball. As, 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 no, 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 no. That was an That was an egregious. I have a problem with that. I do have a problem with that. I have a problem with that, and it's it's forever going to be the issue in, in the NBA. It's been since the beginning of time, and it will be until the end of time. It's, well, that's playoff basketball, so we referee different. Oh, that's a superstar, so we referee different. Oh, it's only one second left in the game, so oh, I'm going to – No, it's either the rules of the all, all the time from the first second of the first quarter to the last second of the fourth quarter, or it's not. Like, just pick one. I, I don't – like this this player gets a call that player doesn't get a call this timing playoff no either let him play or don't let him play Yo, all the bro, time i don't even think that was the case like, or, chill, or, chill. or at least or at least be consistent throughout the same game i, I don't if, think that was the case though, do it. Fluent, I, I think it was just literally a missed call chill you ref so, right you you ref so, before right so when and things and happen the, in real there, time sometimes it's hard to, it's hard to catch that wasn't a time, it was a it was a Let veteran it move. Also, there, it was a vet there, move. During the timeout, during the timeout, the three of us are together. What we're talking about is we're looking at coach who may be asking for a timeout. We're looking for hands and we're looking for fouls. That's the first thing we're looking for. Number one. So when this play happens, I'm I'm standing in the lead, which is on the baseline. I'm standing in the lead and I'm looking at this action right in front of me because that's my play. Yeah. I'm looking at Jimmy Butler come off of that screen. I'm looking at Drew Holiday foul. I'm looking at Drew Holiday trailing him, and I'm looking at Struess. I'm watching this play. I'm not watching the ball. I'm watching that right there. I'm refereeing what's called refereeing the defense. When Jimmy Butler takes both of his hands and pushes Connaughton out the way, basically what he's telling me is, I dare you to call this. <laughs> That's what he's saying to me, to my face. I dare you to blow the whistle. And what he did was he said, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to swallow my whistle. That's all that happened yesterday. I Pat dare Connaughton you to blow the whistle. The no, he does not. No, he does not. He can't get pushed like that, Big Ox. No. You standing right there. So now what's going to happen, So now what's gonna happen, Ron, is I'm going to get a call from the supervisor. And the first question he's going to ask me when I – first question he's going to ask me when I talk to him is, what were you looking at? What did you see right there? Why didn't you have a whistle on that? And I'm going to have to explain that, which I have no explanation for. Oh, I can tell you right now. I'm looking at – I'm literally watching the play frame by frame, slow mo it. It's very telling why they didn't call the play. It, why? It's, Pat, one, Pat Collinson is literally mid-air contesting Jimmy, and he has a hand on him. And both refs, at least from the angles that they're standing at on this play – Right. It is not a clear angle that you right. see Jimmy extending. Exactly. That's what I was saying. It, exactly. it wasn't as a ref, and you, and, and you know why it wasn't a clear angle? Because I am just standing there, which mm -hmm. I shouldn't be. I need to be moving to get a better look at what's going on. I can't just stand there like a like a like a telephone pole and just stand there and just look at this. No, I have, to move. Your car into it I, I have like to move. I have to. I have to. I have to move and get a better angle, which is why the next question from the supervisor is going to be, "What did you see?" It's going to be, what did you see? Well, I didn't see anything. Well, where were you? Well, I was here. You should have been here. 
And these are the kind of games as a playoff official, which now get taken away because as a mm-hmm. playoff, because as a playoff official, you got to blow the whistle on that. You have to. Reggie Miller did the same thing to Jordan in 1998 and dared the referee to blow the whistle. I'm going to push Jordan out of the way to get to the ball. And I dare you to blow the whistle on me. I dare you. And I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it sneakily. I'm not going to do it on the sneak tip. No, I'm going to do it right in front of you. And I dare you to blow the whistle. And he didn't. Yo, Dale Roy, I would like to hear from you on the, uh, the Miami Heat and Milwaukee Bucks series. Uh, we, will get, we will get to other series. How's my mic? Dale Roy, it's great. We will get to other series. Relax. Let's just stay right here. <laughs> How did, what, okay. What's your thoughts and takeaways from this last game my, and just the series okay. in, in a totality? First and foremost, Giannis is the best player in this series. No ifs, ands, or buts. Giannis is the best player. He started as the best, and he's still the best. Correct? Yes. Right? Yes. You okay. could be the best player and get outplayed. That yeah, can happen. He's still, he's okay. still better than that, Jimmy that, Butler at basketball. Happen. Yeah. That can happen. Yeah. Yeah. You could be the best player and get outplayed. Perfectly fine. So, uh, universally on this panel, Giannis was the best player in the NBA, correct? I believe he's the best player in the, pl- in the game. Um. Most of all you guys said is Giannis. Ticket, of course, you agreed. I know that's your Lord and Shining Savior. That's your guy. That's nah, I, your... Just respect, I just respect him because he's not a whore that jumps from limb to limb. That, that, <laughs> that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. You yeah, thought he was, fine. Fine. Thought he was yeah. clearly better than that. We're not going yeah, through all that. That's we're good. Good. not going. Let me ask Steph, you Steph Curry's not his daddy. Believe that. Okay, yeah, whatever. Sure. Yeah, remember that. Write it down. Take a picture. Yeah, big picture like this. Let me ask you a question. Well, everyone a question. Is this worse than KD getting swept last year? Yes. No. It's not worse than that. KD is a seven seed getting swept. It's not worse. It's not worse. It's not worse. It's not worse because the momentum of the series changed when Giannis got hurt in game one in the first quarter. So that's what I'm saying. The momentum of the series changed when Giannis got hurt in game one in the first quarter. So he was pause hurt. There. Hold on, pause hold on. There. Let me finish. Pause Let me finish. No, 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 no. Finish. Finish. Hold on, hold on. No, he was hurt two and a half there. games. Hold on. He was hurt. He was out. Up. Hold on. He only played 11 minutes in the first game. Then he missed two straight games. So but when he came back, the series was 2-1. One so of them which they won, by the way. They won. They won the game without him. You're not hearing me. I'm saying that next game, the momentum had already been built against him when he came back. Okay. Go ahead. I've never you heard you bring up momentum and all this stuff when Kyrie Irving got hurt and the Brooklyn Nets lost. Kyrie Irving played. He played every game. He's about, now game. he's about 2021. He's about 2021. No, no, listen, listen. I'm, I'm going to take steps to get where I'm getting to because – I, because the steps he got success, hurt in the 20, he, the, he exactly right. he got hurt in 2021. <laughs> Kevin Durant lost Game Seven because of the big toe, whatever. I never right. bring up that or whatever the case may be, but it was never momentum. He lost Kyrie Irving, this, that, and the third. It was never none of that. It was just KD lost. He lost. He folded against Giannis, this, that, and the third. That's what we say. Giannis, right? time out. No, that's not what you're you're Bro, saying. You Giannis, said, is this the no, worst no, no, ever? On. You said is this no, the worst? No, 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 he said is it worse than KD? Oh, is it worse? Is it worse than KD's? Oh, oh no, it's not worse than KD's. KD got swept. He didn't win a game. He got swept. Finish, but yes, it is worse. Hold on, it let is me worse. finish. KD didn't win a game. The Keep going, though, Dell. You, 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 you were going. You, were, you want steps, Dell? Let's get back wait, to the yeah, steps. Hold on. The game, just the the game, the Bucks win. Giannis wasn't there, so Giannis didn't win a game either. So let's just put that out. Lost two games. Time out. Hold on. Time out. And the game when Giannis got hurt. It, I don't, I don't, I don't. I, they were maybe losing. it was 11, maybe it was eleven. Maybe he was losing by twelve when he got hurt. Miami was still in control of that game with the big giant there. In the first Your court. guy. I don't care when it was because clearly it didn't matter the first quarter. It was, it was, it was the, the, it was the I think it was the second quarter actually. But. And, no, first quarter. The he game, only played eleven the minutes. Game, he played. The boy, game boy. Boy. He, he never played the first. All I'm season. saying is steps is what I'm saying. You still think Giannis is the best in the world, right? Take it because you did. I don't think Giannis. Hold on, hold on. You don't think Giannis game changes. All I have to say about all of this is whenever KD gets swept or not, whatever the case may be, that doesn't change the game of a player that you think is better. The the Jimmy Butler played out of this world. Is is this Hawks team better than the Nets to me last year? No, but they won two games. And the Nets couldn't win one. Is is Chase is Trey Young, John Collins, DeAndre Hunter better than Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving? No. But whatever team concept the Hawks came in this year against the Celtics, that shit worked for two games. The Brooklyn Nets. Y'all arguing over who lost? 
Yeah, we're arguing, yeah. we're arguing who lost worse. That's what we're doing. Arguing who lost worst. Hold on, KD got swept with Kyrie on the court every game. Giannis oh legitimately gosh. got beat. Or, Giannis legitimately no, got I'm beat two arguing, games. What is we talking about? I'm, I'm arguing the fact that I don't like when everybody changes the narrative on the player because they lost in the series. I don't give a. That's all I'm saying. That's the only thing I'm here for. The narrative of the player oh, changes. Well, Giannis is still on, Giannis. Who changed uh, the narrative? Hold on, but there is a difference. Hold on, there is a difference. While I agree with you that the Bucks <clears> losing <throat> as the one seed to an eight seed is worse than the seven seed getting swept by the two seed, there is a difference. KD also didn't play well. Because I know you're here just to defend KD because the narrative changed on him because of that sweep. But it wasn't just because of the sweep. It's because he didn't play well. That was listen, part of it, too. Listen, That's part the, of it. The, narrative, the narrative changed on him. Because of everything, the narrative just changed again last week when Devin Booker closed the series with 47. That's my problem. If anybody else is playing good for enough team, if Drew Holiday step up and have 30, it doesn't change who Giannis is. It doesn't say Drew got Giannis got help from Drew. But, but KD's getting Devin Booker help, but it's saying that Devin Booker is carrying KD. That's what I'm saying. He's I, I think it changes the, for certain players. So, like for example. When AD, for, him. When, for for certain players for uh, for whatever reason, like if AD plays really well, oh, he carried LeBron. But if I've never heard, I've Middleton, never heard AD carry LeBron James. I've oh, never heard. What? That. Definitely heard what? That. what? Are, you, are you serious? I've never, I've never heard heard then you're not listening. Whoa. You're listening. There's I've no way you've heard never heard that. Players that are elevated to a certain level There's that no, there are other players you've never heard that. Team. Yeah. It's you about to hear it a little bit. Don't worry. You about to hear it a little bit. You're gonna hear it. Yeah. You're gonna hear it. You about to hear it today. I've never heard him carrying. Like he played good last night, but I didn't hear he carried. I've never He's heard AD hear carrying Braun. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I've never. And this ain't the and, and, and this ain't the first time but that you're this right. is. You're right. This there's, is going players, on. there's certain players that if another player steps up, they go, "Hey, great job by Giannis." You know, uh, mm -hmm. deferring to the other players. Exactly. Player. I mean, right. there's other players where it's like. Man, he played terrible. He's lucky Booker stepped up, AD stepped up, whoever yeah, stepped up. It's just there's different narratives for different players. And it's his fault that he has that narrative around him. Let's not let's not dance around it. It's Kevin Durant's fault. Wait, why is it his fault? I'm confused. I mean, if I go on my 17 burner accounts and argue with fans about me, I'm pretty sure people are gonna have bad narratives to spew about me all the time. What let, let me ask if, you, what is let, let, what is arguing about a burner account? What is me not wanting to show the people that I want to curse this person out to protect my image in my pockets has to do with how I play basketball. It, it has people perceive you a certain way. Terrible. Plus, yeah, plus when you make a decision that majority of basketball fans are against, again, it creates a bad narrative around you. With LeBron James, when he first went to Miami, those first couple of years, everyone said he was getting carried by Dwayne Wade doing the championship. That first chip they, that he got, no matter how good he played, they gave it credit to Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, him on a super team. There was no credit for LeBron. Oh, he even had to go the credit. He won finals MVP. That was the well, you so, know. No, no, no. Kevin Durant did too. They even Kevin said, Durant they said they even the MVP. Ultra and Pat Riley had to teach him how to win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the narrative. It, was, it, it wasn't that he was that good. It wasn't. Yeah. But, they, but they said that because LeBron James also came out and said, yo, I needed – first Dwayne Wade said it. Braun needed to be Braun. And Braun said it when I had – I let everybody in my head – the first finals, I needed to step out of that stuff and be myself. LeBron James admitted that. So it's a difference than when people, LeBron literally admitted that. That's documented. Okay. So you want, another, you want another reason why the narrative is the way it is with KD? Because when he kept saying, hey, I'm number two, he did a commercial with LeBron, I'm number two, and then he went to the Warriors to say, hey, I'm going to beat LeBron to prove that I'm number one. Well, mm -hmm. Giannis, since that's the comparison, doesn't say I'm the best player in the world. So KD said, I want to be number one. I went to the Warriors to win to prove that I'm better than LeBron. So he gets – he's going to be judged more harshly. Fair or not, he's going to be judged more harshly. He hey, by now, go, well, go, I was just going to say, he literally made a move in his career to move from his original team – to specifically defeat the narrative that he wasn't as good as LeBron James. It wasn't, oh, I want a championship. It wasn't, oh, my legacy. It was, I want people yeah, to put I agree in the with conversation. You exactly. Okay. So, but I so now that, but, the but, fans but, are but, all yeah. going to say every move afterwards is still to prove that point. That's the narrative from the fans. No, every move you make is going to be better than LeBron. I believe that everyone is saying this guy is the best, not because basketball related. It's because the narrative of whoever wins the championship, they're the best player when it comes to this level. I'm number two, so I want to play against number one. I can't play against number one with this OKC team, so I'm going to go to a team that I know I could stand head to head against number one and then beat him. Dale, what kind of narrative do you want on KD? 
If, if in a perfect world, no, how do you want us to talk look, about KD? It's, it's not about KD. his game. That's it's, what he wants. I, on everyone, though, it's not just KD. Just talk about I, you. I'm not coming on this show and dissing Giannis and saying Giannis is not this great because they, I, I've never done that about anyone. I've right. smiled for my New York Knicks <laughs> because I've smiled for that, but I've never ever come on this show and say, "Oh, Steph got swept. This player lost." Oh, they whole game changed. No, that team they lost to had a better game plan. That doesn't change the, the narrative of, oh, this player cannot play. He's not who we think he is. You've never heard me say that. It's so you want us to stick the K. So you want us to stick the K. So you want us to stick the KD strictly as a basketball player. You don't want, want us to I talk about anything to else. Be labeled as basketball, but that's what they are. When of course the, the Miami Heat. Jimmy Butler outplayed Giannis in the Milwaukee Bucks. But is that all Giannis' fault that he's going to, people going to look at Giannis differently only? Hell no. But that's what's going to happen. But Dale, so you, you can't admit that, that he could have played better, though. Just like last year, you can admit that KD could have played better. Wait, 38 and 20 could have played better yesterday? Nope. See, yeah, there you go. Cool. See? Uh, see? Uh, see? Uh, see? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, Mars. Let me see what I'm talking about in a second. But I mean, hold on a second. Let me keep going. Yes, Giannis could have made six more free throws or seven or eight more free throws. But if we're going to bring up Giannis like ticket is Giannis is hurt, Giannis back, this, that, and the third, for him to go out there and still have 38 and 20, and first and foremost, don't no let, let's time out. Look, you said it, but I could listen, the last play of the game before overtime, great call, Giannis on the ball. Why is Brooke Lopez out the game? I said no excuses. Did you, you, I'm you not talking. Really, I'm talking about generally speaking. Why? I'm not saying excuse. We call. Well, we call him. Hold on. We no, call him. The, the, the reason why Brooke Lopez was out the game is because they went small. That's why. You want everybody no, to be It's a sideline out of bounds, though. You, yeah, want them to be judged, you want them to be judged as basketball players. And as basketball players, they're going to have good games, bad games, good series, bad series, and they're going to make boneheaded plays. So mm-hmm. I'll go back to your KD last year. He gets swept. He shoots 39% from the field and has over five turnovers per game. He's going to get criticized for that because that's a lot worse than the guy he that's, is on the court. Not, he has to get I criticized. Blame- I blame I never I blame Kevin Durant for that whole series, but in a totality, is that's what I'm arguing. Like like I think no, Giannis I make my trash did better. No, of course no. That's not how, you're saying that fluent, but does Giannis can Giannis play better? One hundred percent, he could make some free throws. But honestly, think of this: look at the play they ran. You put Brook Lopez to stay there, right, and just protect the rim. You know what the narrative is after they win that game? It's gonna to be tough for Miami. Giannis is on a her back, carrying carrying with thirty eight and twenty. Nah, that's not. No matter if he, no I, matter. I, what, actually, no matter I had a video. I had a video queued up. Hold on. Because I had a video your queued value, up. Hold on. Big your trouble, value bro. as a basketball player. Your value as a basketball player is how you affect their wins and losses. So if you help them win, you're gonna get praised, and if you don't help them win, you're gonna get hurt. Oh. That. So yes, if but they win the game and Giannis goes for thirty, his whole game as a totality, totally. as a as, as a wrong. No one changes the game. Dale, Dale, Dale is like KD, y'all. Dale wants everybody to love KD. That's all KD wants. KD I'm not even talking about KD, KD right now. This yeah, but you're the same. Hold on. But you 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 have the same mentality as KD. You want everybody to love KD for his game, and, with it, and that's what KD wants. But the thing people don't respect about KD is how he moved about doing what he did. Not his. Not that he he can't play. Not that he's not a great player. But that's how everybody, he, how I think he everybody loves and respects KD's game. Right. It's how yo, he yo, moved, bro. It, how he moved as a player. How he it, you how, said on this show before that you love LeBron James before he went to Miami. You also said on this show. I didn't say I love LeBron James. I said I respected his you, game before you said, he went you to said Miami. You said you was a LeBron James fan. No, you I did that. not say I was a LeBron James fan. I said what I respected LeBron James' game before he went to Miami the first go around in Cleveland. That's okay, what I said. Okay, how did his game change because he went to Miami? Yeah, his game no, never changed. No, 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 no. First of all, hold on. Wait, wait, his game changed. Hold on. His game changed. Hold on. You asked me a question. If changes, he got better. Let you me asked me, yes, hold on. You asked me a question, right? So, wait. No, wait. I wasn't finished with my question. So, now let's move on to Giannis. Giannis just lost. If Giannis leaves and goes somewhere, you won't get on Giannis. He's not even going nowhere. Let's time out. That's the difference between him and KD. He's not leaving. Let me speak. If I, it's a big word in there, it says if the honest leave, you're not gonna dislike him because you know he's not say, leaving. Oh, oh my god, just listen, just listen. Then you could yell about he's not leaving. If Giannis does leave, if if I'm right, cooking if his Giannis, ass three the hard way, nigga. What if, if Giannis does leave, right? You know what you're gonna say? You're not gonna say nothing because Giannis went alone. So the thing about basketball fans now, oh, you got it. Yeah, you, you're gonna say Giannis already won. You're gonna say Giannis won a championship no, where he didn't have to leave. No, if hold on, if Giannis got smoked the way he gets smoked, 
It leaves not, like that. Not that. He getting cooked, not nigga. A- you not, if Giannis not goes to the Heat, I'm crucifying him. What are we talking about? You not, you, you not understanding. I'm not a fan no understand. more. Yeah, you, if go you, go Miami, Miami, you go to Miami. You go to Miami. I'm not a fan. You, you can be like that and you leave. You get cooked. You done. Oh my God! If Giannis puts Miami next year, come on, Char broiled. Finished. Y'all are bringing up something. I'm not talking. I know Giannis is a Milwaukee Bucks next year. I know that 100. percent I'm well, saying if he does not finish his career in Milwaukee and he happened to leave down the line and not win another championship in Milwaukee, no one would look at Giannis a certain way. No, you know why? Hold on, hold on. and, 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 and they wouldn't. And I got him. I got him. You easy to beat. You know why? Because of the simple fact he did what KD didn't do. When that's it was what I am. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Opinion. Let me finish my sentence. Let me finish my sentence. People like myself, people like Chilltown, people like Fluent, we uh, we garner more. We have more respect for a guy who went through the ups and downs, the turmoils, fought through with his team, helped his franchise build up that team, win a championship, deliver the goods. What KD did was is the OKC team. They built up a great team around this dude with all kind of assets. They gave him the, the Lear Jets. They gave him the limousines. They gave his ass the Maybachs, the Bentleys, whatever you want. You had Russell Westbrook in his prime. You had James Harden coming off the bench. You had Sergi Blocka. They even went and got you a vet in Derek Fisher who had championship experience. You had all kind of shit. And what did you do? You got the Warriors up 3-1. You lost. <clears throat> you see, this is you see, yeah. everything you said. That they gave him, what's the fucking reason they gave him that? Because of Kevin Durant. That's why he got it. So t- stop bringing up old. Oh, and he left. The they and gave he him left. The Learjet because he deserved the Learjet. And he left. You know, no, he, he didn't. He left. Because of his because of his game, Dell. Right. I can appreciate your logic but, because but of his game as a not, basketball player. Not, however, what, what we can't do. However, what we. You know, what we can't, what what we I'm can't, trying to say. What we can't disregard, though, is we cannot disregard the fact that what he did. For Giannis to get on the Miami Heat right I, now, I, and I it's don't know why I'm bringing that up. We're com- the, that the up. reason why we're bringing it. The reason why we're bringing it up is because this is what KD did in the middle of his prime as a competitor, mm-hmm. not as a good player, not as a good basketball player. Mm-hmm. Part of being a great basketball player is being a competitor. Mm-hmm. So if you're going to be a competitor and jump on a crew that beat you, we have to question you now. As a basketball player, because as a competitor, that's part of you being a ball player. So and once again, what if I Giannis, so, so yo, once yo, again, we, we got to move on, y'all. We we got to talk about actual okay. playoff basketball. No problem. No problem. And, no know, problem. All, Let's do all it. The that, and yeah. we we got all summer to talk about you know hypothetical moves and that's, what happened in the past. But let's talk about it. right now. Dale actually got something for you. I got just what you want. The New York Knicks have advanced to the second round. Yeah, you you're gonna start talking about RJ Barry better too. That's what you're gonna start doing. You're gonna Listen, start New doing York that. Knicks are in the second I round. I my RJ rant last time. I'm not giving my RJ rant again. I'm just I, like I. Oh my god! But um, are, are we gonna? Do uh, you know what this means, on, right? You know what this means, right? What does it mean? That the New York Knicks, who, or the Miami Heat, will be in the Eastern Conference Final. Correct. You're crazy. <laughs> No one had that coming into this season. Don't lie. No, that's the Knicks are going to um, the I like Knicks Heat. I grew up on the real Knicks Heat. Uh, people, some people might remember the late 90s, so early, morning. middle of the 90s. Yeah, so more. I, that's yeah, what I grew up on. PJ so, Brown. So, PJ Brown. 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 Over Charlie Jim Moore. Hardaway Jr. Mm-hmm. Those are the Jim Hardaway Sr. Excuse me. So, um, man, Mason. it's crazy. It was... I didn't think they would win game five. I thought they would close it out at six, but they knew something. They probably know something we don't know. Just like like I said, going into the series, I, I said on, it was the late night. I said, the Knicks played the Cavs four times. They won the series 3-1 this year. I don't really look at regular season, but maybe they figured something out. Just like the Knicks versus Miami, the Knicks is up 3-1 in that uh, regular season series. I got the Knicks in five, by the way. I just do. I have the Knicks in five. The five? I have the Knicks in five, yes. In five, I did. Under under what act, though? Can you tell us why you got the Knicks winning in five? I don't think Miami wins at the Garden. I just don't think – and I think the Knicks still won in Miami. <laughs> Honestly, I still – Hey, Dale, just say, Dale, just say, Dale, think, just say coaching. Think, and I think – and I, that's what I'm going to next. I think Tom Thibodeau figures out, like, you you other mother effers could beat me. I'm not letting the person I – like, he instilled Jimmy Butler. 
No he doubt. drafted Jimmy That's Butler. He took Jimmy Butler with him in Minnesota. He gave Jimmy Butler everything he needed. I'm not letting this dude, I'm not letting him beat me. Somebody else, he's not going one-on-one -on -one as much. He's not doing all his little, he's not. So all you. I can't believe Coach Butler fucking Drew Holiday by himself with Jimmy Butler. I'm still bugging <laughs> on that. Yo, I'm sorry. Like, I'm all sorry, you fellas. Like, I can't and, believe and, he's left and, him out and, there by himself with this dude, yo. last series, Tyler Hero right. will be missed this series. Oh, Tyler my Hero God. will be missed. So that I'm messed up his rep, y'all. That, that messed up. That messed up. That, me that messed up Drew Holiday's rep as a defender. He just left them. Yeah, he left him on Gilligan Island, bro. Hey, 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 about there. the next, bro. You, <laughs> hey, hey, chill, Dale. Hey, you're not gonna be able to move in New York, bro. They go to the Eastern Conference Finals, bro. They're gonna oh, tear yeah, that crazy. city down. You already, you, you already know. They're gonna tear, hey, 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 they're gonna tear the streets down out there, bro. There was no way as great a defender as Joe Dumas was was uh, Isaiah Thomas and them dudes leaving him out there with Jordan by himself. They weren't doing that. And we're not going to do that. I can't believe these dudes left him out there by himself while he's getting torched. It, 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 reminds, it reminds me of Rocky. Yo, throw in the towel. You're just going to let him keep beating the shit out of him. He's going to kill him. Throw yeah, the towel in. My boy, if he dies, he dies. dies. <laughs> Tone. <laughs> throw in the towel. He's going to kill him. What are you doing? Yeah, that's, they got to fire that's blood. terrible. They, that's terrible. When Tibbs do what he do, they got to fire blood, bro. When, t when, Tibbs, when Tibbs win this series easy, they gotta they gotta make a hard decision. I know they don't want to do it because of relationships. He want to chip, but that they have to fire Bud, man. I don't know who would be a good candidate. I don't know if you guys. I heard somebody say Nick Nurse. I don't know if uh, Fluent thinks Nick Nurse is a good candidate for the Bucks. I think he'd be a great candidate for the Bucks. Why you say that? Because the Bucks have a team of guys who um, like play his style of defense. He he would be very happy to have a Drew and a. Bobby Portis and a Giannis on his team with his defensive sets. They, he, listen, he's used to having a team that can't shoot. So he's going to be in, in, in a situation like Toronto, but with upgrades at every position. So I, I think Nick Nurse would be a perfect fit there. Now, now well, yeah, the first, first, we have a three to five year window because that, that style runs out quick. But I think Nick Nurse would be perfect. No, I'm saying you think he's offense worse. Oh, uh, he, he doesn't. He doesn't do. He'll, he'll bring in someone else to do the offense. He, he's going to he's going to focus on the defense. Hey, Fluent, the first thing he going to do is call up Drew Holiday and say, I'd never let you go out like that. Never. Yeah, exactly. Never. I would I, never I, I, leave I'd never you leave you like stranded that. on Jimmy Island. No, no way. way. Would I just other leave you out there against him? Other than, other, than the <laughs> Miami Heat, other than I think the Miami Heat, no one plays more zone and help defense than the Toronto Raptors, and they've got literally 32 different defensive sets. Most teams have like five. Ronald. So trust me, he will not leave anyone out to die on their own. The one thing that Coach Somebody Tibbs says, does with the Knicks, what the one thing that Coach Tibb does with the Knicks is he utilizes his rotation, and his rotation is better than the Miami Heat's rotation, and he's going to take advantage of everything that Spo does in terms in terms of counter moves. So anytime Eric Spoelstra comes with a guy off the bench, Tibbs is going to counter that with another guy off the bench, and he's going to counter that with another guy off the bench who's a better dirty work guy, who's a better offensive player. They're going to speed the game up. They're going to slow the game down. All of these things that Eric Spolster is going to try to control, Tibbs is going to counter that with better players to control it. Everything. And then when you look at the, then when you look at this team defensively, when you look at this team defensively, every time Jimmy Butler catches the basketball, every time, and I ain't talking about early in the game. I'm talking about when we get late in the game. Every time he catches the basketball, we're getting the ball out of his hands. He, he and they're going to be as, too. He and they're gonna, for it in early. Oh, absolutely. And they're going to do everything that they can to be as physical as possible with Jimmy Butler. Because Jimmy Butler is one of those guys who, in, in the words of Ticket, Jimmy is a thug. And you could get Jimmy off this game if you start if you start banging Jimmy around. You could get Jimmy to start talking to the refs. You could, especially if those other guys aren't doing their job. Mm -hmm. You could get Jimmy to start talking to the refs. You could get Jimmy to start barking at his other guys. You could get that to go on. And Tips has enough rotation guys like Josh Hart who's not mm -hmm. going to back down from Jimmy yeah, Butler. No. Not only is he not going to back down from Jimmy Butler, he's going to accept the challenge, and they're going to help him. I could see this series. I, I look at this Knicks team, and I can't believe I'm saying this about the Knicks because I'm not a Knicks fan, but I do think that they handle the Miami Heat. I do. Easy. Yo, hey, Lord. chill town. If they win, I'm going to say – I'm going to ask y'all this. Where where do we think – what do we think, Damo, about uh, the coach – of the Miami Heat, if he actually gets back to another Eastern Conference Finals undermanned and just 
damn dog. I mean, if he bro, your narrative is less ridiculous to get. You always have think about that though. Think about the fool. You know I'm going with this, but think about that. I want you to think about that. If he goes to another Eastern Conference Finals, and he'll probably have a shot to win it. If they get to the East and play Philly, they're going to the NBA Finals. Okay, yeah. If they get to the East Conference Finals and play Philly, they're going to the NBA Finals. That's that's another all time great coach LeBron had. Yeah, yeah. No, no, but if they win this, but if they win this, great coach Brown, a great coach Derek Spolstra, absolutely yes, we got it. No, 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 but I'm saying Air East. Oh, to, 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 answer your, to answer your question, Ticket, he's already a top five coach in the league today. I'd like mm-hmm. to think so. I'd like to think he's a no, top five. No, I'm talking about all coach. time. I'm talking about all time. Now, if we're he's talking about the top 15, five, sure. Yes. I, I'd, like, I'd like to think so. I, and I think you can possibly make an argument for him being top 10, especially if he gets, especially if he gets this team to the NBA finals. With the group he has, I think you can possibly make it. I think you can possibly make a, make a, make an argument. But he's definitely a top 15 coach. Final? Could you imagine? An eight seed Miami Heat in the NBA final. I mean, the Knicks did it. An uh, eight seed Miami Heat versus a seven seed Laker. Man, that's a crazy final. <laughs> that's a crazy <laughs> finals matchup. Yeah, and then they'll I, and then I they'll see see LeBron, LeBron, LeBron versus the Heat. I, I can see the script. <laughs> I can see it. Hey, but, <laughs> but, but, but Mars, I'm, I'm gonna get to you in a second. Actually, I'm gonna start with you with this question because what I've been hearing a lot is people talking about Thibodeau, quote unquote Thibodeau is gonna basically scheme around shutting Jimmy down. But and then Ticket just brought up, what if Spolstra does a good job and gets them to the uh, Eastern Conference Finals? So essentially what I'm hearing is a lot of this is going to be coaching, going back and forth, adjustments and schemes and whatnot. Um, who do you think is the better coach, Mars, and how can they beat each other? Um, I think I think Eric Spolstra is the better coach. Um, I think offensively, I think they're both severely flawed. But I think um, Eric Spolstra just preaches more ball movement on that side of the ball. I do think he has a lot more motion. Um, defensively, I think they're two of the best basketball minds we have defensively in the NBA right now. I'd, I'd struggle to think of like three or four better than both of them. Um, but I, I don't think it entirely comes down to coaching. Um, whether or not Julius Randle can play determines the series. If Julius Randle yeah. can't play, Knicks in five. If Julius Randle does play, Miami in six. <laughs> hold on. He said, hold on. You said it. You heard him right, Ticket. You, you heard him right, Ticket. You, you heard him right. Yeah. You heard him right. Without, with, without, without Julius Randle, they win in five. With Julius Randle, Miami Julius Randall beats Randall was playing good last game before he got hurt. But let me say this to you, Bars. Um, I disagree with you on the coaching. I think Tibbs, even though we'll rank uh, all time, we'll rank Spo over Tibbs. I think Tibbs is a better coach than um, – than, uh, than East Spo. I think it's more so even than you saying he's better than him. Uh, but I, I would pick Tibbs over him. And the reason why I would say this is because I've seen Tibbs in numerous different situations. You know, the Bulls, then he took the T-Wolves to the playoffs a year. Now he's here with the Knicks. He's turned that whole uh, organization around. I think that because you've seen him in different in different areas with different types of teams, I think that that, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't just him and Jimmy or him and he had he had very variations of, of, of teams. Like I said, he did take the team to the playoffs. That was their only playoff berth before they came back these last couple of years. He did do a hell of a job with the Chicago Bulls, and now he's re, re, redoing what he did with the Bulls uh, with, with the Knicks. His only thing is, is that he doesn't have, when we talk about uh, uh, talent, he hasn't had the talent that Eastpo has had all those years he had LeBron D Wade, because if if Eastfo didn't have those guys, would we would we still say that he he's on a higher level than, T- than Tom Thibodeau? That's a fact. If, uh, if Thibodeau, I, I, if Thibodeau had Braun Wade and Bosch, let me add some sense to this. Talking though. about him a little different. This this series is going to be a long series. It's going to go six or seven games. I'm actually thinking seven games. I, I think agree. Spo is a little bit of a better coach over Tibbs, but let me give Tibbs his credit because he did something that I never thought he could do. He gave up his way and he adapted. He had he to talk. Adapt, he adapted to the play. I know I, he had yeah. to, but sometimes they don't. Mm-hmm. And, and they stick and they stay stubborn. And he didn't. He started playing more of his bench players. He didn't like typically he plays his players more than anybody else, a ton of minutes. Da, da, da. He didn't do that. He adjusted to the team that he had. So I give him a lot of credit. And that's why I think the Knicks are where they are today. And I underestimated it because I didn't think he'd do it. And I didn't think Jalen Brunson was as good as he is. So, but I think this series is going to be longer than you think because the best player in this series is Jimmy Butler. I think the the thing we discount 
I mean, we see we see coaches with a lot of talent and we immediately just say that their job is easy. It's not easy to manage those personalities. It's not easy to get those guys on the same page because these guys have their own agenda. So if I got LeBron James and Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade and Mike Miller and Shane Battier and I got all of these guys, I got to get these guys on the same page and I got to get these guys to respect me. I got to get these guys to buy into my philosophy as a coach and I got to get them to continuously do it. And the fact that Spo was able to do that because he came under the Pat Riley tree, that's more impressive. That, that's pretty impressive to me. But then when those guys leave, right, when those guys leave, James is now gone. And now he's got Dwayne Wade. He's got Chris Bosh, who he had a blood clot in his leg. If he doesn't have that blood clot in his leg, I think they're in the Eastern Conference Championship in 2016. Chill, chill. Stop being honest man. with you. I disagree with, with, with you. I disagree with what you said because stop lying. He did, he did have Pat Riley, and that's the reason why he got respect. If he didn't have Pat Riley, he wouldn't have got respect because your boy went up to the office and tried to get him fired, and Pat Riley had his back. Tibbs didn't have that benefit of the doubt. I mean, had a benefit in any situation where he had a guy like Pat Riley over him so where the players went over his head that they mm -hmm. that the big man would have his back. Tibbs right. had to go get his out the mud for real. He came from right. the Celtics. As we know, he was a genius on the defensive side with that Celtics championship team. He mm -hmm. took that to the Chicago Bulls. We saw him turn the Bulls organization right. around, turn them to a 60-win team, right. take them and, and do some things with them that they right. hadn't done since the Jordan days is actually have some type of winning success over there, even though they didn't win a championship. He made it respectable again. Then we Correct. saw him go to the T-Wolves, a team that was in complete disarray after KG left. They didn't right. know what the hell was going on. He did get them to the playoffs. Then he went to the Knicks, who have been absolutely dog doo-doo for years and mm -hmm. completely turned that. He turned them around with just Julius Randle as his best player. Correct. A throw-off. So he did Correct. that with Julius Randle as his best player, took okay. them, turned them around, took them to the playoffs, had a fall-off year, went and got Jalen Brunson, and then right. came back this year and got a shot to go to the Eastern Conference. No, but about coaching, like here's examples that ticket that, that you'll love. Uh, Doug Collins had Jordan and Pippen mm -hmm. didn't do as He's well as Phil. Del, Del Harris had Kobe and Shaq didn't do quite as well as like there's situations where a coach can make a difference because it's not just talent it's the system and and the way you use them that, that and, makes and, and not and not only that to and not only that to to counter your point ticket let's rewind the clock it wasn't like okay he got the respect he already had it from pat rowley rewind the clock ticket so Dwayne wade was his guy right Dwayne Eric Spolster and Dwayne Wade were like this. He worked real close with Dwayne Wade. So he already had that respect from Dwayne mm -hmm. Wade. And, so that being, when, and that with that being said, LeBron still went to the front office and tried to get him fired. And so not only that, it, 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 and, and, when, and when he went to the front office and tried to get him fired, Pat Riley made it clear that we're not doing that. So what had to happen was he still had to perform his job. Not just James still had to play. It wasn't that he's he's getting fired, but he's not doing a good job. He was still doing a great job. And in the process of him doing that, James eventually bought in. It wasn't like James was just rolling his eyes. James actually bought into what was going on there. And the reason why, and the reason why James bought into what was going on, on there, because the proof was in the pudding. Eric Spolstra had actually coached the team to the playoffs with Dwayne Wade, right? With Jermaine O'Neal, with guys like that. He coached the team to the playoffs. So the proof was in the pudding that he could coach. So now when he gets this talent, now he gets these guys eventually to buy into what he's doing. Once he gets these guys to buy into what they're doing, now you see the proof is in the pudding. So now we move on to once those guys leave and they're still competitive. We saw what happened against them in Toronto in 2015. I mean, in 2016, if, if Chris Bosh doesn't get a he, if he doesn't get that blood clot in his leg, I think they beat Toronto. And I think they're back in the Eastern Conference Championship. I think that Eric Spolster, we don't give him enough credit. Not just Eric Spolster. We don't give coaches who have great talent enough credit because you got to get these guys to buy into what you're doing. And that's the but way you get them to respect. But, he, but Tibbs did it too. But then not only that, I'll give you this one. I'll, give you, I'll ante up. Pull your panties up. Tell you like this. You put Tibbs in a situation over there with what he had in the big three. And guess what? I think Tibbs wins the series against the Dallas Mavs up 2-1. I think Tibbs defensively doesn't allow Dirk Nowitzki and those other guys to do what they was doing during that season because I think he makes the proper adjustments to get that series. So I think he does exactly what uh, Spo did, plus more, plus not lose that one chip that he lost against Dallas. 
Now, now we're talking about an Eric. Now, now we're talking about an Eric Spolstra who just got the job. It wasn't like Eric Spolstra had been on the job for ten years. So when they go to the NBA Finals in the 10-11 season, Eric Spolstra had only been a head coach, even though he had been to the playoffs. He had only been a head coach for I think three years at that point. He had only been a head coach. For, he had only been a head coach for three years at that point. So now, so 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 now we got a guy who's just figuring it out. Never had that level of talent. There's no way that you could sell me that Tibbs. Having that level of talent as the head man would have done would have done a better job. I don't think that. I, well, there, okay, no evidence, I will tell you what he would no have done. Hold, 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 hold. Now I'm finna cook your ass three the hard way, like I always say. I'm gonna tell you what he would have did to win the series. This, he would have won the two series he did win in the finals, based off of we know how Tibbs get down, and he with that type of talent he ain't losing. But I'm gonna tell you what he does to win the Dallas Mavericks series. He sits down your king like he did Julius Randle when he's playing like a bunch of garbage. No, he NBA wouldn't have. No, that's not true. Oh, we're talking about a guy 12 years later. No, no, he's not doing that. No, he's not doing that. It's 12 years later. Can I answer the question? Go ahead, Ticket. Oh, Ticket, you got some smoke today, brother. Ticket. You did it now. Yo, can we? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. Hold on, though. Ticket first and foremost in 2011. <laughs> Tom Thibodeau lost. Tom Thibodeau lost to Eric Spoelstra. They lost that that he coached the, that both teams. I think that lost. Who was the squad he had? Yeah, the MVP, Derrick Rose, Jokino, I believe. Oh, I'm about to yes. but, but look, but look, hold on. Hold on. Did he have a three or four time MVP? Did he have D Wade a Finals MVP? Ticket, why do you keep turning this into LeBron James? You're turning this. I'm a Tibbs guy, but Tibbs is not a better coach than Spolcher because of Fluent said it best. He hardly gets out of his own way, and he just started doing that. As a coach, you play basketball. You say, as a coach, the biggest thing is the confidence of, of your players or whatever the case may be. I've never seen Spo Like last year team, the Knicks last year team was a blunder. Why? They added two key pieces. If Tibbs got out of his way, Kimber Walker would still be in the NBA. Eric Fournier would still be a player that could spot up and shoot. But he's now he's buried under the bench, and Kimber Walker is nowhere to be found. Look at Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry made some big plays this playoffs. I don't think Kyle Lowry today is better than Ken Walker was what he was last year. But Spolcher knows to get my I'll, I'll give him a little bit. He knows how to use him. Absolutely. He knows how to use Tibbs. Yes, Tibbs he does. just shuts off and cuts the playoff. Right, you're done now. I don't see what I can use. For, and that's not true. And he doesn't realize that. And I've seen it for the first time last year. I'm a Tibbs guy. And Tibbs didn't start in Boston. Tibbs is a New York Knicks. He's Jeff Van Gundy's ace. He was Jeff Van Gundy's guy yes, on the was. Knicks team that went to the finals in 98. So I've been a Tips fan. He yes. was the assistant coach on the Knicks first. Then he went to Boston. No, then he went to the Rockets with Jeff Van Gundy, then mm. Boston. So he's a New Yorker. He, he, I've been one of the Tips have been the job back in the day. But he's not a better coach than Spo because right. those players that he throw away, Spo will find a way for them. To, to play and for them to produce and utilize that's what and that's what a coach does Dale. a coach what he does is he puts you in a position to be the best that you could possibly be what we're not doing here is what ticket is doing which is turning this into lebron james that's I not what it's about i said, yes, the big you are. I said no the big, but it's okay and it's so okay. you're not gonna say here, here, here's, here's, here's why here's why this is the problem that you're talking Mars, about the big three no no no, 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 no. this is nonsense you talked about head. this being the big three when i just mentioned i just proved the fact that it wasn't just the big three because the Wayne Wade and Spo was like this. So don't make it sound like don't make it sound like it was the big three against Spo because it wasn't. You turning this into no, the broad game. Big three against Spo. I said he had a big three. That's why he won. I'm saying to you, I've seen Tibbs do more without having three star all stars like that when, on the when, same team. When, I'm telling when, you, when, I think Tibbs gonna do the same thing. When, Tibbs when, gonna do the same thing if he would have had three all stars. Done, no, no. When is Tibbs did more? Then what he has done post those big post the big three win. What are you doing right now? The second round? The second round? He no, I'm saying he's getting ready, he's getting ready to beat him now and take his team to the Eastern Conference Finals. 
Fine. And then if they play, if, if they if play, do that, that's the hypothetical. No, no, no. What has he done though? Not what is he going to do. What, is, what done? has he done? What has he, he said, done? He said he's done but as much is, as or more. What has he done? Yo, low, low, but it's still more of a surprise. I got two lows. I got two lows at the same time. I got two lows at the same time. It's still more of a surprise. Fold beating Milwaukee. Then the Knicks going to the second round. Spoke job is still Way better more. than Tibbs. Yeah. So, <laughs> what what is what is he done? Not is hypothetical it? that you're going to conjure up. What has he done? Nigga, what has Spoke done out without LeBron James? He won any chips? He's let he's let he's let that team to the finals. And guess he coached what? That team to the oh, finals. Boy, might do that this year. Not what he's so going what to do. He done, what has he done? 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 <sighs> ticket, this is th ticket, ticket, talking. ticket. This is again. He's talking. That's cool. I see what this is. I see what no, this, this is. No, ticket. This is no. This is not. Ticket. This is not. This is no. This is not jumping on you. Ticket. No. This is not ganging up on you. No. This is not ganging up on you. Ticket. This was you and me having a conversation about Eric Spoelstra as a coach. Everybody jumped in. No. This is you and me having a conversation about Eric Spoelstra as a coach. Right. And what you're doing is you keep bringing up LeBron James. You said you no, didn't turn this no, into no, a big three. Yes, LeBron you did. James. You said I once again, I would have sat said, down. You said, quote, I would have sat down his king. Yeah, bro. He, he said he would have sat said, down his king. Said, That's well, what you well, said, which is you which is you're making this about question. LeBron Let James, which is not what this is about. Yeah, this is about Eric Spolster's ability to coach. I got one question for you. Tim's with the same big three. Do we win? Do we win two out of four? I don't know that. No, I don't know that. No, I don't think so. I was say I actually don't think so. Either. No, I don't think so. And the reason, I don't think, and the reason, and the reason why I don't think, don't think so either. No, I don't think so. The reason, the reason why one of one of the main reasons, one of the main problems with Tibbs, which he just switched up, one of his main problems was Tibbs. Tibbs ruled with an iron fist. It's my way or the highway. That was Tibbs. That's not going to work with that group. It's just not that way. Eric Spoelstra is a little more diplomatic. A little, even though he comes from Pat Riley, he is a little more diplomatic, especially back then. But uh, no, I was just going to say, in in Tibbs' defense, he did show that when he needs to change up his style, he can. So that's so again, it's all hypothetical. How do you know which you don't? If Tibbs was in that situation, that he's like, shit, I got LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, I can't be that same tyrant guy that I am. And I'll give you an example from football. Tone, I'm not buying that. Hold on. Before you go any further. Before you go any further. No, because I got to give you the example first. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, Bill Belichick is known for the Patriot way and treating Correct. guys very hard and whatever. But didn't he let Gronkowski do whatever the hell he wanted and party and do whatever? Yes, he did because he understood that's what I need to do to get the best out of him. Right. So I'm not saying that Tim's would have won two, would have won three, would have won four, would have won one. I don't know because it's not going right. to happen. But I will say I've seen Tibbs change up his style, which I've been right. impressed with this year. So I'm not going to say he couldn't have been like um, Bill Belichick and say, hey, I've got, you know, three of the best players in the league. Right. Maybe I maybe I need to soften my approach or take a bit. He could have. He could have. And That's understand. Cool. But 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 to counter your point, Tom, where do you think that attitude came from? That attitude came from coaching under Jeff Van Gundy. That attitude came from coaching with the Boston Celtics, with that big three, where they ruled with an iron fist over there. Do it this way and no questions asked. So there's no reason for me to think that if he got with Miami and he got with LeBron James, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade, he wouldn't have done the same thing because that's his track record. But if, he, so because if he's going to adapt to Julius Randle, I would think he's going to adapt to LeBron James. Well, I well, again, we're talking about years later. We're not talking about Coach Tibbs as a head coach in year three. Right? We're not talking about Coach Tibbs in year four as a head coach. We're talking about Coach Tibbs 13, 14, 15 years later. We're talking about a completely different coach. So, Ron, that's the one right there. That's, that's the it. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's a show right there. Forget that. Ron, I'm that's the one. I was, I, was wait, I, was, I was waiting for you to throw that up. Throw it up right now. Throw it up right now. That was, right that now. was elite. That that's was a, elite. High and low. Right I'm I'm high and low. That's a good one. That's the one right there. Here, I got you. Me, I'd rather hit him up one more time. Oh my god, hey, yo, this is yo. for music and everything. <laughs> Look, man, and a quick side note the Milwaukee Bucks not only did they not get a shot off at the end of the fourth, they didn't get a shot off in overtime either. That's crazy. To win the game. Mm. I just want to put that out there. Um, first of all, finally, man, Lowe is back on the panel, man. In effect. In effect, do you have non-reflective glasses now? Low, low, low for, down. 
Do I? No, no, you can see it. You can see nah, it. You can still, I can still see what's going on. Wait. Low Sekulous. down back in the house. Sek- what's, what's, what's he looking at, chat? What's he looking at? What's he looking at? What are we watching? Sek- 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 secondly, um, <laughs> shout out to Dub, man. Shout out to Miami, bro. Shout out to Jimmy <laughs> Butler, man. My goodness, what a, what a sensational season for them, bro. Sensational series. Um, Can make a legit finals run yet again. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, shout out to Memphis and all the other teams that are still in the playoffs. Put that same frown back on your face. Now, now, I, I am, I am here though. To, I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure Mars. My facial expression it up. hasn't changed. I'm now, pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Mars already brought it up. I didn't know that y'all started a whole hour before. I thought y'all started at noon. I'm, but I'm pretty sure Mars just brought it up. But I am here to figure out if y'all have had the questions because this, this, this postseason run, we are gonna get these answers. So is Giannis as good as Hakeem in the post? No. Is no. is 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 was that team not going to lose because of Coach Bud? Something that me and Mars have been screaming literally all season long. Is, is the inabilities of Giannis in the in the uh, half court finally t- showing you chill that he's nowhere near close in the stratosphere as Jokic offensively? Correct. Is is. Is are we gonna finally stop making these hypotheticals and continue to disrespect Eric Spolcher by putting him in conversations with Doc Rivers and Ta- and Thibodeau? Are we actually going to accept the fact that well, Jimmy Butler? My goodness, I will say this. I'll say this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say that, sucker. Now, Jimmy, Jimmy, now, Jimmy, now, Jimmy, now, Jimmy Butler. He is. I will say he top. He top ten. Yeah, he yeah. Top 10. Okay, so now, so 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 now we won. He is. He is top ten. He is top ten. And all y'all want to get me. No, you said top five. Stop saying you said top. You said top five. You said you said top five. You said you said top five. He's not top five. You said if you said he was top ten, everyone would have been angry. You did. I actually, I actually see top five. See, ticket. I actually personally went back. To go with, watch it again, you said top five. You did not say top ten. No, hold on. Rewind the clock. Rewind the clock. No, let's get let, let's you're get on this, Giannis. Five. Let's get on this Olajuwon on the box thing. Are you telling me? That's are you that's honestly? That's what, that's what are you, said. Are you honest? Said. Are that's you honestly said. asking a question that is Giannis the same as Olajuwon on the box? I didn't say that. What did you say, Ticket? Because I want to make sure. He said he's Giannis better than Al- he can be just as good as Olajuwon. Continue the path. No, I said if he would have continued the path that he was on. From winning the MVPs to winning a championship this early in his career, if right. he would have continued that path he was on, he could have potentially passed Hakeem through the course of his career with his okay. accolades and with what he's accomplished. Okay, I never so said different. no, 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 no. What you said, what you said, he said, and I said, and I said, and I said, he 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 said, because let me talk. He said, if Yanis wins the ring this year, this he's in year. the same room as Hakeem Olajuwon right now. Right. That's I what he said. He said. I you he said, if Yanis wins he this he year, he's in the yeah, same room as Hakeem. Like, yeah, we're the low post of Kamal. Yeah, we're the low post Then we started talking about, because he was talking about um, Yanis per 36, he scores this many, blah, blah, blah. It was nonsense. And then he was like, on, but then, but then I, I'm not done. And then I asked him, in the he's because he always goes, oh, it's easier to score now than in the 90s. So we don't use that argument for Yanis scoring now his numbers are it's easier to score now than it was in the 90s. He said Yanis would dominate the 90s the same way. And then we asked him, okay, so how is he going to dominate the 90s the same way with less spacing? He doesn't have the post game. And he said, well, Karl Malone could do it. So Yanis could do it. He said, oh, he could do the same things Karl Malone was doing in the post, the same things Dave Robertson was doing. That's what he was saying. No, I did not say That's that. what he I didn't said. Do a liar. I did not say that. I said Karl Malone didn't have a post game. All he did was rely on. Yeah, so you said he could do the same game. thing. I just said that. Hold on. Listen, hey, bro, my man, my man. Where did Hakeem he come in? Because the only way he's playing like Hakeem in the post. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't remember him saying that. Maybe I missed I don't remember him. Oh, 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 I can't hear you. Yo, 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 everybody relax. Everybody relax. Fight me one on one. No, 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 no. I'm listening to you, Ticket. I want to hear who you want. I said what you said. I didn't hear what you said, Ticket. I want to make sure. I, I want to make sure. Said, say what you said. Like correct I said, what I said was wrong. Like I, I said, wrong. like I said, like I said the first time, and I'll say it again. If Giannis Antetokounmpo would have won a chip this year in the Finals MVP, that would have put him in the same room as Akeem Olajuwon historically. I didn't say he had the same type of game as Akeem had, nigga. I never said that. I said it would have put him in the same room historically. Now let's tell another truth. 
So that never came out your mouth. That never came out your mouth. I want to make. I want to make. Yeah, he never. He never said. Is that not what I just said? So he never said that. Is that not what I just said? He just said. I said he said that. No, hold on, low. Was Akeem getting beat early in his career? This is not early in his career. I asked you, hold on. Was Akeem? When did Akeem start winning chips? He won in year ten. Probably in ten. Hold on, hold on. What year is Giannis in? Year ten. Year ten. Shut your ass up. He already got a chip. He already got two MVPs. He already got a player of the year award. And he's in year ten right now. Let me finish. I'm gonna let him finish. Let me finish. Like I said before, if Giannis would have did that this year, he would have already did all that shit. Hakeem started to do at year ten, sucker. And the only reason why you be saying Hakeem got them chips is because Michael Jeffrey Jordan retired. Now put that in your pipe. Now, right, let me let me answer let me answer let me answer let me answer let me let me correct myself he didn't say he was good as hakeem in the post he said he would be in the same caliber as hakeem if he won a championship thank you a, not as, not b, post, okay. but b the art that we, we we went further into it his argument was that Giannis could do what he needed to do in the 90s because he had a post game ironically enough we asked him why is it that he struggles against miami you know, ticket. He'll pander. 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 He was on a team that was not good enough to make it through a postseason run in a Western Conference that was difficult to go through after Ralph Sampson got hurt because when Ralph Sampson was there, they made it to the finals and in the process beat the um, beat the Los Angeles Lakers with, with Magic and Kareem and all of them, right? And, that's what he won. And five games, by the way. That's, that, that's, that's what he – that, That's what he – Ticket, ticket to the ticket, to the '86 ticket, Celtics. Ticket, I let you. Ticket, I'll let you. I'll let you. I'll let you go. Ticket, I'll let you go. I'll let you go. Ticket, I'll let you go. I'll let you go. Ticket, I'll let you go. Ticket, I'll let you go. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. I'm not gonna lie. The insults aren't gonna save you. You're getting cooked. You're getting cooked. The insults aren't gonna save you. Your little your little minions. Look, all you do is throw out insults because you can't talk basketball. You get cooked. All you do is throw out insults. That's all you do. Everyone, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. That shit don't work on me. The second, the second, the insults. Furthermore, because I'm, I'm really about to put it down. Furthermore, when he, when Hakeem was at this stage in his career, when he was on a team that was comparable to win a championship, not only did he win, he won a championship. He went back to back on a team that was significantly, and I do mean significantly, Worse. less talented than what Giannis has right now. And the whole purpose of what the argument that we were having had everything to do with the inabilities of who Giannis was as a player that Mars and I has been saying every, it's almost every other week on this platform for the last two to three months now. That's the reason why they lost. Right. So, Lo, let me ask and you a question. And no, 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 stop. And finally, Yo, you keep because, because, no, 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 this is the last ugly. point. This is the last point. This is the last point. This is the last point. Respect this. This is the last. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing to respect. The nigga I, lost. I, 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 okay, then, motherfucker. Let's stop, get it stop, then, nigga. stop, stop, What's stop. What's wrong with you? Stop. Literally, your argument, this the this the this the ideology that you live by. Cause you sat here and went as far as to say that Kobe wasn't in the top five or seven player because he missed the playoffs. Yet you sit here and try to put everybody in a box to make sure Giannis is the best player in the league. And that nigga lost in the first round. And so I, I need to ask. No, 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 no. I need to ask. Is who's better, Jokic or Giannis? Jokic. I cooked his ass, nigga. Who's I better? No, no, I'm, we better go. Oh, we better go. No, 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 no. We better go through the. We about to go. We about to go through the whole list. We about to go through the whole list. Who better and beat a yoke? Um, beating Giannis. Giannis. What? And beat. How? And hold on. And beat. And beat just played a worse team than what Giannis just played. And Giannis missed two games in his series. You you're forgetting about that. He I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. For, I'm not. forgetting anything. I'm, I'm just asking. This, I'm just. I'm say, asking a question. Hey, I'm on. asking a question. Go, hold on. Let's go beyond that. What has Embiid done more than Giannis? We're talking this year, ticket. Come I'm on, talking exclusively right. this year. Hold on. Right. Oh, I'm talking on. exclusively right, right. this year. Hold on. hold on. Right. They just won the playoff game without right? Sad, sad, sad. They won a playoff game without Giannis. Right. No. No. But I'm saying right. That's what I'm asking him. So listen. They just won a playoff game without him. Right. I'm. I'm asking this year. 
this year? Bro, I'm telling you. Who better, KD or Giannis? KD right now. Who better, um, Devin Booker or Giannis? That's what I'm saying. Who who better who better Jimmy and Giannis? Jimmy. Who better AD or Giannis? Giannis. It don't it don't it boy. Oh, well, Giannis bring his every night. Steph, Steph Curry or Giannis? Steph Curry. Giannis, Giannis. bring his every Steph, night. Steph, yeah, Steph Curry or Giannis? Steph Curry. So Eight, Giannis, so, went, Giannis went from the best in the world to like fifth in. Nigga, he hours. just got smoked in the first round. All right. All right. Right. And and that is my. If that makes sense no, to no, anyone. And Dale, and Dale, I and that and Dale, is my issue. <laughs> and we and we were and we were we were having this ongoing conversation literally all year long. And every single time we got to the question of someone's ability and where they were ranked based off of that, it immediately went to, oh, you in this series and that and a third. Like I I didn't last year. I didn't think that Durant was where you had him. But it's because of his inabilities and because of the things that inevitably happen. How, however, I was not going to go as far as some people saying that Jason Tatum is better than Kevin Durant exactly. now. All of a sudden, but you see, Lo, my problem is with this whole thing is the fact of not even the Giannis thing. It's just all these names is some people really saying. And then your man just said Giannis lost to a better team. Well, Kevin Durant got swept by the. Team that went to the finals. Who said that? And that didn't matter. You, 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 said, just you, said, said, you said the Heat were better than Brooklyn. You, I did not say that. Giannis, I never told you. I did not say that. You just said Giannis lost, lost to a better team. team. I did not say that. You didn't you just, just say Giannis said, just lost to a better team than Embiid did. I did not. Then, no, M- that I said that, no, I said that the I said the Miami Heat are better than the Brooklyn Nets. That's what he just said. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's why true. does it matter? So so why so why when KD lost to the Celtics, who the team that went to the finals? Does that not? What does that mean? It's because he hey, just did one on. game. Matter, because matter, matter of fact, no, 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 no Hold that on. does not make an ounce of sense. That doesn't make sense. Who better? Trey Young? Trey Young win hold this on. series. Who hey, better? Hold on, low, son. Hold on, low, son. When I said What's Devin The insults Booker, aren't going to work, Booker. my friends. They're when not going to work. When you said Devin Booker, I said no. You said I don't know. That's what you said. You said I don't know. That's why I said argue. Let me say this, Mars. Let me say this since y'all like jumping the dude, right? Because a nigga like me, when I come, I come with a Louisville slugger, motherfucker. You come with five people, I'm coming with a You've been swinging and missing. You've been swinging and missing. You've been swinging and missing. And low, y'all y'all dudes ain't easy to miss. I'm cracking all you clowns. You swinging and missing. Like I said before, I'm going to tell y'all like this. The bottom line is this, bro. You just said, Giannis, oh, he did this. He got exposed. Even though Giannis did not play well as far as making not free me, throws, Giannis, hold on, let me say that. You just said that. You just said that. You just said that. You no, just said that. He, the he, things he that he had, did, the, the flaws he had the whole time of flaws. We I all said knew. We knew that already. Last we knew night that already. In the we knew that already. All the things that he struggled what did with. He had? Hold on. So no, no. So what, oh, all I'm saying is this. This is all I'm saying, right? I put blame on Giannis for losing the game because he didn't step up in the moments and play the defense. He didn't step up in the moments and hit the free throws. These are the same things I criticized KD for when he lost to the Boston Celtics when he didn't step his offensive game up. But you are acting like Giannis got shut down the same way those guys did. That's not the case. He did not play two and a half games, and in the two games he did play, he came back. The first game he had a 27-28 point triple-double, and the very ne- and this is off of injury. In the very next game, he had a 38-point, 20-rebound uh, special that he lost because he missed all those free throws. So to me, like I said before, that downgrades him because he lost in the first round. But back to y'all original point, I don't see him lower than Embiid and those guys because Embiid ain't done shit yet. What has he done? about this year. We just hey, said they'd, the they'd be the bad Brooklyn Nets team that everybody said they was going to sweep. You said the Miami Heat were trash. Bro, yes. I said, and I said, and I said they would get beaten five. I said they would get beaten five games, and and yes, I didn't know Giannis was gonna get hurt. I think if Giannis, hey, hold on, low. Did you did you know did you know Giannis was gonna struggle in the fourth quarter? No, no, I didn't. But I'm gonna ask you a question. Do you, you think if Giannis Hero gonna get hurt, the series go the same way? Did you know Tyler huh? Hero was gonna go? No, no, I didn't ask you, Mars. I asked your superior, Low. Did, I'm gonna ask you again. If Giannis doesn't get hurt, do you think the series goes the same way? 
I, I honestly, I have no idea. I don't okay, play case hypotheticals. Closed. Case closed. Now I don't play know. hypotheticals. I just closed. go. I just now go off of what happened. Now, case closed. I'm I go. I go off of what happened. I know what happened. And Giannis couldn't score in the post, as we knew. Bud couldn't make any adjustments, as we knew. Giannis struggled in, in half court sets, as we knew. Like those are all things that we've been he saying. He struggled in half court years. sets, but he had thirty eight last night. Fuck out did of you, you, man. Did you see oh, that? so Ufa, yeah, he just did, comes in the half court. Now. Yeah, so all thirty eight came in the half. All right, cool. Yeah, say less. Yo, <laughs> ten, yo, ten, yo, ten yo fellas, 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 I have a Heat fan here. Who now, gives a damn? From him right Who now. gives thank a you, damn? Thank you. Who dog? gives a damn? Who yes, gives a sir. Damn? Who gives a damn? About it, young, though, man. Oh yeah, he can't score. In, yeah, yo, he can't score in a half set. He Every can't. time you would need to get gather momentum and freaking drive and drop yeah. his in the paint to get a layup. Well, we talk that he'll get an offensive rebound and just toss that thing up. Bro. Thank you. Score the half court set like that. What are we talking about, man? Thank We've you. Been saying it all year long. All year. all year long. And I'm mad you didn't include me in that. You said Mars. Hey, you said, uh, low like that. If you thought he would have included. Oh, 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 I, would, I, would, I definitely would have. Dub is the same dude Come that's coming in here right. Now about. about what we're talking about, but had your Miami Heat getting smoked in round one. We all had, had them. We all had them getting smoked. We all had them losing. I said, no, 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 but you, you. No, you did not say six. You had them getting smoked. That's what you want to say, Grill Town. That's true, dog. I told you, Grill Town. boys getting smoked. I told you, Grill Town. I said we could push to six, number one. You never said that, dog. I told you, Grill Town. You had. You never said. Not only did you not say that, you and I had a conversation, quote, where you said, where I said to you, Dub, anything can happen when the when a guy gets injured in the series. Yeah, but that's not going to happen. I don't see us. I don't see us going past five games. End quote. Hey, Grill Town. Hey, no. Grill Town, Grill Town. You said what, that. So what with that being said, you? now what all of a sudden you, you come Grill in here town? with your chest yeah, pushed yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You want to know why? Out, you want to know why, Grill Town? Out, you like all of a sudden town? you guys are on those dudes. Watch this chat. barely made the playoffs. Watch this Chill Town. Watch this Grill Town. Watch this chat. What did I tell you? I said the team that we will want to face is the Bucks because we've always had the Bucks number. Because we can upset the smoked. Bucks. You said y'all was getting smoked. We you had said their that. number. I you said y'all was getting team, smoked. You I said that. the team no, that I trusted to upset over the Boston series. Celtics and the Milwaukee Bucks. It was the Milwaukee Bucks. You said that. That's fact or fiction. That's you fact, said that. right? You, okay, you yeah. said that. You laughed at me. You laughed. You said I don't get with that logic. And you was wrong. So you take this now. You, you, you picked them yourself, you dog. Yeah, what are you I talking about? Out. You took that out. We all took that out. I told but you. We're not going to beat them. You said I both told of you. I but told but you but that my heat would have team to beat the Bucks. You said both of those things. He had Miami winning any point of the series. We all would have called him delusional. So Dub was just thinking of the right man. We all put a lot of powers. Like the Bucks is the first thing. We all had the Bucks winning, of course. But you know, I'm not gonna get mad at Dub with his chest out because out of all of us, he is a Miami Heat fan. He's a so yeah. Be, be so happy that you won, but don't say right. I called it. Right. Who said I called it? He didn't say he called it. He said he called it. No, he, he, so no. sit down because we got no, the He's saying he told you about the Bucks. Like, he told you about the Bucks, not about Miami beating. from last night. This is, this is, this is, I'm I am hold on, hold on, hold on. We got the old head. He's talking to me like this Miami Heat team. Like he had all the confidence in the world in this Miami Heat team when you did not. You made it clear that you guys weren't winning the series. The fact that you won the series, I'm not saying that it was a fluke. Did you pick them to win? Yes or no? No, stop, stop, stop. Answer the question first. Did you pick them to win? Yes or no? I ain't answering your damn question. Which means no, you didn't. You did not. You did not, Dub. You did not pick them. You don't need to watch the anything, dog. You did not pick them to win it. Because the Let's play it out, dog. The old heads, and the, and there's no old heads. Right now. Hold on, hold on. The old heads acting with dementia right now, right? I literally <laughs> said, anybody in their right mind ain't going to pick the heat. If I'm picking the heat, oh, dub, you a casual. You don't know nothing, you know? Do like Dell said, I can't do, do it. it. But, but, but guess what? What did I tell y'all all the time? I said, in my right mind frame, I don't think that he can win because I've never been high on the Heat though, whole entire season. You didn't think but they can win what the did NBA I say? That's no, what you no. thought. There you go. Yeah, I did not think that. There then, you go. But then I did say this. I said if there was a team that was going to upset the Bucks, if it was between Boston or the Bucks, Miami could do it against the Bucks. So put that in your pipe and smoke it, Grill Town. That. Smoke it, Lewin. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Did you? Because what I don't want to do, out. Dub, is I don't want to put words in your mouth. No, did just you say that? Did you say that, Dub? I don't want to put words in your mouth. I'm not. I'm not gonna put words in your mouth. Did you say that? Money on the block. Numerous. Get more money. 
You're getting no money. Put your money Numerous on the books. Numerous times. Numerous you put your money times. on the books. I, I ain't gonna Numerous lie. You should have. You should have put your money on the books. He you put his know. money on the books. If you if you put your, I mean I'm gonna yeah. heat. If you, you put your money on the heat, man. Now, because I said maybe. No. Man. Wait, yeah. wait, it's still not too late. Wait, 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 wait. It's still not too late. Congratulations. Duh. Now, congratulations, Doug, yeah, because the Heat played heat. exceptional. Jimmy Butler played exceptional, and right. you're off to the second round. So take those flowers. Good for them. Good for right. you. Can they, can they make it to the finals? Yeah, Honestly, duh. this is what I want to know. Duh, yeah, no, can no, no, no. Before we talk about that, I want to talk about this series right now, Dub. Against the Knicks. And I know you guys have opened gym next, so you'll go into it a little more in depth. But what's going to happen this series? Will you guys win this? Holy shit. Against the Knicks? Oh yeah. man, who are we? It's going to be. I'm not going to lie. Make a up, up. No, Everybody's no. listening. Everybody's listening. You can't take this back. You can't take this back. Wait, 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 wait. I don't wait, take wait, nothing wait. back. I Hold pick on, I my record words. It. I, I want to my words. It. I pick my words on purpose. I know what the fuck I'm saying. The next series versus Miami Heat series is going to be a good series. I think Mitchell Robinson and them boys and what they did against Cleveland was crazy. Is we going to be uh battling on the boards? Uh. But I'll give it to Miami, 100%. <laughs> Miami, Miami and how many? Miami and what? I'm going to say Miami and what? Probably six or seven. Six or seven? I, 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 I love that pick. The, the six or seven pick. The six or seven pick. Yeah. Yeah, that's right here. That's the fence right here. Yeah, right that's here. that's, yeah, that's, a, side, that's the professional side. fence yeah, riding you're, pick. You're, you're six or seven. Because if, if they lose... He'd be like, oh, I knew it was going to go to six or seven. I knew it was going to be tough. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. I know it's going to be tough, though. Like, what the hell? I know. I know like, nobody I'm knows these series 100% what y'all talking about. No, of course. Of course. Of course. Like, come on now. Not a late. I, 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 will, I will tell you this, Dub. I will tell you this. What your boys did was very impressive. Very much so. It was very impressive, and I will not fight that. Does that mean that this can continue? Oh, man. I'm, I'm, I, think you're asking, I think you're asking a lot. Wait, man, continue, continue to wear though because of the conference finals. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I don't think we're beating Boston, man. I'm not, yeah, gonna, I, 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 like I, I said, it depends, it depends on if Julius Randle's playing or not. So, you gotta hope because yes, boy, Julius, you gotta Randall. hope that he comes back. Though, I know because Julius Randle is a bad man, really bad man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, Julius oh, Randle. That's what you get. That's that's what you yeah, get, dog. Exactly. That's exactly what you get, you son of a mother. Boy, <laughs> you get me the same. Get me the same. Get no cuss on here. Nobody Julius sees Julius Randle having a good series. Because keep no. in mind. No, no, no. no, 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 no time out. Time out. Time out. Because no, because I'm, I'm really going to pose a good question. I'm really going to pose a good question. It started off as a cool question. Who do they have to actually guard him? Himself. Ben, the, the basketball himself. Yeah. The moment he steps on it, he's guarding himself. The same, the same person that guards Russell Westbrook, bro, himself. Himself, it's, man. It's him versus himself. him. The he moment, actually, the he, moment he's out there, the Heat have a better chance of winning. He's not so, bad against the Miami Heat. He's actually really good at my, against yeah, the Miami I, I, Heat. He wasn't that bad. He wasn't that bad against Cleveland either. Yeah, you you told you told you told me he was he was good against Cleveland this year. No, I didn't. Someone told me. It might not have been you. You he was praising every movie. He wasn't he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't this bad though. I mean, my goodness, he was bad against Cleveland. Now remember too, Dub and and not not Dub Low. Remember, and I said this to Mars already. We going up. Hey. My bad, my bad. Somebody just sent me some uh, uh, video evidence about what I said about the Bucks. My bad. I'm sorry. Since we got since we got cappers in the building. Hold yeah, well, 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 put it up there, We agree. We agree. Uh, you put that on both sides of your mouth. We agree I with that. Mm. I got it. Watch well, I don't, I also, also, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that, there, their, their question is isn't about the Bucks. Their question Julius is about Randall. the Heat. Who was defending Julius Randle when I was showing you that he was all of his stats were cut in half from the regular season to the first to this round of the playoffs? Someone was defending him. It was it was Chill saying he's going against Evan Mobley. Who's oh going yeah, the defense, okay. one of the three best defenders in the league. Right, right, right. But I'm not gonna right. lie, Bam Adebayo is one of the five best defenders in the league. Is, is and Miami's an elite defense. Miami's an elite defense. I thought he would have played well. I thought he would have surprised me. Thought that Julius Randle. I swear I did. Bam, Bam, and I'm hoping second round he steps Bam don't even need to guard him. Kevin Love can guard him. Bam's guarding Randle. Bam has to guard Mitchell Robinson. He That's fine. Have... Well, okay. Mm. I don't he know. He's going to box, 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 box him out. Yeah, he has to box him out off Randall's misses. That's what he has to do. Oh my but he needs to box out Josh Hart. Are we, que are we questioning? What are we questioning with Julius Randall? No, we're, we're, questioning not, no we're not questioning anything. We're uh, we're stating facts. He's I'm not because it's not a question. It's not. It's not a question. There's no. So, this, so, so the logic is Julius Randall is not a good basketball player. Is that what you're trying to tell? In the playoffs. In the playoffs. We're talking about. We're talking about in the playoffs. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not the all-star caliber player. We're talking about. Not, more often than not, he is significantly worse than he is in the regular season. More okay, often, so again, that, that is okay. All the time. Okay, so all the time. again, we're, we're going off a guy from the playoff series when they played against Atlanta. 
where he was bad. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to – I I can't, I can't defend that. Mm-hmm. And then this last playoff series where he was going against arguably the defensive player of the year and the number one defense in the league in the Cleveland mm-hmm. Cavaliers, who held the New York Knicks, who averaged 116 points to under 100 a game, right? Mm-hmm. They held this team to under 100 a game. So now we're going to go against the Miami Heat, who they're not as good defensively as Cleveland is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'd like to think that – the New York Knicks know. makes – I'd like to think that the New York Knicks can speed the they're... game up and put Julius Randle in different spaces where he can score and be yeah. effective because I heard I heard Dell say the same thing about R.J. Barrett a week ago. Mm-hmm. R.J. Barrett mm-hmm. needs to be traded. Get him out of here today. <laughs> Meanwhile, R.J. Barrett's production, every game after game one, went up. And the reason why uh, it went up is because it is, there's, still, no, uh, there's no uh, – there's no – it went up him. every I game. Still, I will always hate that said, guy. But with that being said, with that being said – his production, go, his production going up, it went up because the New York Knicks played different. They played faster. They got R.J. Barrett the ball in spaces where he could be productive. Can we do that with Julius Randle playing against the Miami Heat, who was a, who was a less, who was who was not as good as the Cleveland Cavaliers defensively? Yes, I think that that's possible. Okay, okay so I want to. You said <laughs> putting put put Julius Randle in more spaces where he can score. Where are those spaces? I think he, I think in transition. More yeah. in transition, right? Okay. I think so more. No one guards him. Yeah. Okay. I, I think more, and and so I think uh, more. Yeah. I think I think more in chill. the mid post. Oh, the mid post. Oh man, chill. The yeah, big man, chill. I like RJ. That. Chill. I like RJ better than I like um, Randall. I mean, I like Randall better than I like RJ. Yeah. Right. But that's a mid off point. <laughs> no, 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 no. For, no, truly, but the, for this point that you're trying to make, I don't think it fits for Randall because what I've been seeing these last two or three games from Randall. He's not a good teammate. Oh, like wow. after the game, no, seriously, after the game, his face, the Knicks still won. He got benched. He's mad that he's getting benched instead of being happy that his team won. Like last night, of course, he's mad he twists his ankle. The Knicks just won a series, a game five, winning 4 1 against the Cleveland team. He's walking off the court with a sour face. That's not no media. That's just what he's showing. Like everything is Randall, Randall, Randall. Like, and that I think that's the his selfishness is the reason. Passing because RJ bad, not for most part. He would play for the team if he get benched and the Knicks still win. He's still cheering. He's still happy. Julius Randle is showing selfishness that I I've, I've never seen. And as I like him more than I like Barrett, I think that that's you're gonna have to be looking looking for that because it looks crazy right now. New York is going sick on him for that. Sick. I'm sure that they are. But to answer your question, Mars, the Knicks, what they've done with the Miami Heat is they've sped the game up. And with them speeding the game up, they put Julius Randle in different spaces, in the mid post, in transition, actually in the mid range where he can knock down shots and put him in position where he can get fouled and get to the free throw line. Because last I checked as a basketball player, when you get to the free throw line and you make free throws, the basket gets bigger. The basket gets even bigger when you do that, which would explain why you saw what you saw from Giannis last night, that the ball became radioactive and he did not want anything to do with that basketball because he didn't want to go to the strike. But that's a different conversation. With that also being said, I think that the Knicks can put I think the Knicks will put Julius Randle in positions where he can be where he can be more productive. I'm not just going to write Julius Randle off in this series like he's going to be the reason why they lose. I think Julius Randle could be really productive in this series. I thought it'd be the reason. The whole reason I had the Cavs in five against the Knicks is because of Julius Randle. So the Knicks did overcome Julius Randle once. They might be able to do it again. Uh, I don't know. But if I had to say, will Julius Randle play well in this series? Absolutely not. Every team that's in the Eastern playoffs, would he play well against them? Milwaukee, no. Boston, no. Philly, no. Cleveland, no. Brooklyn, no. Miami, no. Good against Boston. In the, in the playoffs, we haven't seen him in the playoffs against Boston. Oh, but yeah, he yeah. Has, he has, the he playoffs has. and regular season are two different yes, things. Julius the Randle sees the playoffs and he's allergic. It's like DeMar DeRozan. But, I mean, <laughs> if he proves me wrong for one series, I'm still going to say the same things I say about him. So, And if he so proves me right, I'm going to... Yes, so 100%. This conversation is pointless. Then 100%. You so, I'm just letting that. everyone know. He's, he's also like, to say that he's bad is an understatement. Julius Randle is like historically... Like poor performer from like a volume score, like historically bad. Like I, I mean, I, you could easily argue he's actually worse than DeRozan in the playoffs. He These last th- th- those last two games, I, again, I think he's shooting something like from the three. He shot like two for fourteen, some got some nonsense like that, which I understand. And I'd like to give a lot of credit to Evan Mobley for being one of the better defenders in the game and him being a factor and why Julius Randle wasn't that good. Now, Bam being the defender that Bam is. 
I think he's going to give Julius Randle problems. But I think Julius Randle, if he's productive, I think this series, I think this series could be shorter than what people think. If he's productive, he's going to be the difference in the series. If by some miracle Julius Randle isn't egregious, yeah, the Knicks have a very strong chance. But at this point, you don't even game plan for Julius Randle. You just know he's going to be there. Like, you know you're playing six against four at that point. So I don't know. I don't want to completely take him out of it. I don't want to completely take him out of the equation, Maul, because that's just not true. I mean, don't get me wrong. He does He does play bad. No question about that. He, he's ha- He has played bad. But you still have to deal with him. You have to deal with him as a rebounder. You have to deal with him wow. as a defender. And you still have to deal with him in those aspects. The fact, that, the fact that he doesn't score the basketball the way you would like, but he does rebound the basketball. He does rebound. He does rebound. He does rebound. The Knicks rebounding is a major strength for them in this series. Right. And Julius Randle is a part of that, right? Julius Julius Randle is absolutely a part of that. So the fact the fact that he doesn't score the basketball the way you like doesn't completely take him out of the series. He can help them in other ways. You got to box. Off without a doubt, yes, yeah, he that's, might, he might, he it. might get his own misses. I agree, he might. That's, yo, yo fellas, it. we, we got to go ahead and transition into the last segment that we're gonna get into. Hey, we, we got to talk about it, low Damo. We got to talk about him because they who? got their asses smacked last night. Who the who the Lakers, Los Angeles Lakers? Oh man, let's, man, let's, yo, let's man, talk yo. about your boys. Yo, listen, they're gonna, they're gonna win next game. Like, I'm a, I don't know who I need to call the NSA. The, the Pentagon, something. There is a known terrorist in L.A., and his name is Darvin Ham, and I'm oh sick of God. it. There's no way. There's no way we fight, we fight all the way back. We get down one, oh, and he says, God. I know what we need. I know what we need. <laughs> we need Rui five. Hachimura. Let's five try minutes. this. We Let's need Rui at the side with LeBron. That's what Let's we need try. right now. Let's try this. Good run. <laughs> We're AD's playing good defense. He literally is leading us in scoring. Austin Reeves is maneuvering just well with the space with AD. He's playing good off of him. Let's take AD out the game and put Let's Rui out the <laughs> I am so sick of Darvin. I want to pluck him in a little lump on his head. I swear his offensive <laughs> power plays in a little lump on his head, bro. I'm so sick of it. LeBron James went out there and hands down played the worst brand of basketball I've seen in a long time. I mean, actively walking up the court and just Russell Westbrooking it off his foot. I've never seen LeBron play like this. He tried to pick it up in the second half. We kept trying to fight back. But for whatever reason, oh, another thing. Can someone tell me what is wrong with Mo Bamba? Why is Mo Bamba not Every, getting no, 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 there's, no, there's no, a lot no, wrong with Mo no, Bamba. No, I, I, agree, no. I, agree, I, agree, I agree with the LeBron Rui four or five no, minutes. That's egregious. No, 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 Mo no, Bamba's no. not the answer. Mo so Bamba's maybe, not the answer. No, no, Mo Bamba is the answer for just a guy to re, a guy to rim protect at some level and stretch the floor and be able to shoot no. a three ball. He want, that's what he want to do. That's all he wants to do, Damo. He want to stand out on the perimeter and shoot the long ball. That's no, what no, he wants to do. You know the you answer is AG for 45 minutes. And I will live with that. I will live with that person having seven. I will live with that Versus getting wind and Gabriel minutes. I will oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Neither of them need minutes. Both of them need three minutes. You're thinking, Mo Bamba, you're, you're thinking Mo Bamba is is my guy Bismack Biyombo, and he's not. Just no, leave him on the bench where he is. Leave him on the bench where he is. Better Gabriel. than wind and Gabriel. I'm Get thinking Mo Bamba is better option than having Rui Hachimura play the five. That's it. I understand motion and play yeah. 25, 30 minutes, but there's no reason wind and Gabriel should touch a basketball court. There's no none. Okay. The only court he should touch is in Tijuana or in China. He should not touch an NBA basketball court. At least not for the Lakers. Maybe for I the agree. Pacers. But that's what I'm talking about. That's the only problem I have here. Why do we get Mo if we're just going to play Wendon still? It is dumb. We should have just traded Wendon and kept Thomas Bryant. He would have been better in this situation. That is a fact. So fact. many levels. I'm, I'm just sick of Darvin Ham and these dumb line. I Why are we running three-guard lineups? I looked at the court. Dennis Schroeder, D'Lo are both playing bad and shooting bad. And we paired that with Austin Reeves, who's shooting bad. What are we doing? What? Why is Lonnie Walker not getting minutes no more? What's wrong with Lonnie? I understand these guys. He, he, got, he got in there at the end. Oh, yeah. Got, oh, he, was, he, 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 he trolled. He did that. He trolled. That was such a troll. That was horrible. He was, right? he was down by 20. That was horrible. Get Darvin Ham off this team. Frank, Frank Vogel should never been fired. This is all Rob Pelican's fault. That's I'm right, Tone. Going, I'm That's not right, going to Linka until he's off this team. That's Rob right, Tone. Rob Pelican has personally sabotaged this team. That's since right, Tone. Every Frank Vogel should have never made. been fired. Every decision he made. Frank Vogel should be the head coach. He's never been hired. He Get should have been hired. He was a he was uh, he it's was fine old. as a coach. No. When you had personnel, when you had players that fit his system, it was fine. When you had defenders to be coached by a defensive coach, it worked. But when you add Carmelo Anthony for whatever reason to the team, it ain't gonna work. When Mello you add players, 
Me- Melo was bad. Melo was bad. Melo was bad. He was a bad fit. Please, let's not get into this. Yeah. Come on, bro. There are a ton of players that were bad fits <laughs> playing under um. We literally twenty one and twenty two were bad fits. They were bad fits with the guys that they got. The a Lakers, lot of the guys listen, they got. The Lakers, listen, guys. The Lakers just needed another home game. They need a lot of extra money. Ginny Bus is, you know, going to take uh, oh, Ox to another date. Like that's all. That's all that happened. You uh, say he's going to take Ox to another date? <laughs> no, no. Uh, so, yeah, Ox, Ox, and Genie Bus are going to go so, out on a date. Um, I th- so this is the last game we're talking about. We're not talking about any other games at all. No? So what we, so what we didn't, mm. what we didn't so, so what we didn't like, talk we'll about. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. So, so what we didn't talk I gotta, about. I gotta, I gotta, I, okay, I got to move. I got to move. I got to go mobile. I got to go mobile. I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay. So what we what we did what we didn't talk about was we didn't talk about the Lakers game plan defensively. And the game plan defensively was to let Desmond Bain shoot wide open shots. Was to let Dylan Brooks, which worked by the way, <laughs> let Dylan Brooks shoot wide open shots. I got no problem with him. But Desmond Bain shoot wide open. We're going to live with Desmond Bain's production. What we're not going to do is what, what we're not going to do is we're not going to live with Ja, who by the way is on the backboard. Like I can't I can't have Ja getting 10 rebounds. In addition to Ja getting 10 rebounds, I can't have Dylan Brooks. Not Dylan Brooks, I'm sorry. Uh, Desmond Bank getting 10 rebounds. Now, Schroeder, Russell, you guys aren't performing well offensively. What you can do, though, is you can help Anthony Davis on the glass. And you can limit some of these second chance opportunities. You can limit some of the you can limit some of these rebounds where they're speeding up their offense when you're getting guys like Ja Morant getting on the backboard and speeding up their offense. You can do stuff like that. But instead, these guys like Schroeder, Russell, if you're not scoring, you're not giving us anything. I, you, you talked about Gabriel not being productive. I'm still trying to figure out why Troy Brown is in the, in the rotation. I'm still have, I, I still have not gotten the satisfactory answer on why Troy Brown is in the rotation. Your it's job, no way, Chill. It's your, no way. Your job, your job is you are a D and three guy. Your job is to make open shots. When you have a lot of guys who are one-dimensional, Beasley, who another guy, get Beasley off the floor because your job is to make open right shots, right? Your job is to make open shots. When you're not doing these things, you have to be able to do something else. And when these guys aren't doing something else, they're useless. So when you think about Schroeder, Schroeder only took, I think he took two shots last night, something like that. So the fact that he's not scoring, he has to do something else. He has to make he has to make things difficult for Ja. Ja's blowing right past him. Desmond Bain blowing right past him. He's not getting anything. Tyus Jones is outplaying him. When you are one-dimensional, you have to do your job. And if you're not doing your job, you're useless. And that's the problem that the Lakers have right now. They got a lot of one-dimensional guys who aren't doing their job. That now that now that is 100 percent true. Um <clears throat> hold on, I want to play a game with Mars in the chat. Um, let's play the the um the net rating game. LeBron Rui. Schroeder, Malik Beasley, and Austin Reeves. What is that net rating? LeBron, Schroeder, Rui. Oh, so the free guards. Oh, that's a negative. 18? A negative 133. LeBron, LeBron, Rui, Dennis Schroeder, Reeves, and D'Angelo Russell. It should be worse. Uh, Let's see. Now I went with 18. It was negative. Um, I'm going to say minus 50. 75 mi- minus 150. Wasn't <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it the lineup they put out there when we started losing that? When we when we Literally. start going crazy bad, that was the, the, line- line- the other two. The best lineups that they run with LeBron and Rui is LeBron, Rui, Schroeder, Troy Brown, and Austin Reeves. That's a minus 19. And then LeBron, Rui, Beasley, Troy Brown, and Schroeder. Minus sixteen to seventeen. You so just none, 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 none of these LeBron none of the five lineups work. None of them. Work. Yeah, none of them. None of them. Rule lineups work, none of and them. he keeps doing it he at the worst time. It. It's like, like he does it like at a good. <laughs> he does it right at. Okay, we're on a good run. 18-5 run. We just closed the lead. We're down one. We have the ball. Hey, yo, timeout. Your Rui, get in there. Let's get it. Rui, is this, get, get AD. Is, 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 is this Russ? Is this Russell Westbrook? Uh, Carmelo Anthony and DeAndre Jordan and Dwight Howard on the floor at the same time. Is that what this is? No, no, that that's the LeBron and Melo minutes last year. Maybe the year that's what that. I'm talking about. That, that's yeah, what I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's what that's, that's what, what I'm looking at. I'm looking at Russell Westbrook, and, DeAndre Jordan, Dwight Howard, and Carmelo Anthony on the floor. Nah, at the same I think time. I think even when DeAndre Jordan and them were on the floor, the defense wasn't that bad because the like the defense. I mean, 
the Lakers were down by one point, and Darvin has his 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 very typical ru- routine, predictable rotation of pulling AD off the floor so they can then go out and play on the Rui and LeBron minutes to give AD rest. It's the same rotations every single time. And it it was proven last night that it literally does not matter the situation, the circumstance. It don't matter. He is going to make that exact same rotation every single time. And he did that. It went from a one-point game. The Lakers are down by one with like four, with four, with four minutes left to go in the third. In the third quarter, down by 19. Mm. It was 74 75. I turned the game off at 76 90. I said, I'm not watching this. This I'm no. done. And then didn't call a timeout. Didn't and then then panicked and then tried to throw um AD back in at the end of the third. Then really got to trolling and watch Malik Beasley and Troy Brown play egregious just for him to then finally give Lonnie Walker minutes. He was trolling last night. That was true. <laughs> I did say Lonnie Walker Trolling needs to play. Crazy. I, hey, personally, I he think Lonnie been. Walker needs to start. But start, I don't, I don't know. But I do think that they should really look into the idea of putting um in the off season, putting Reeves on the bench and actually getting a three and D guy in the starting lineup. What they is Lonnie? Really look at it. What is I actually like three? Because no, I, I, when, when I was watching him play, I do too. I do. Yeah, I, I like Reeves play, up too. He was knocking that three down. I like three. He he gets to the rim better than any of those other guys. And on top of that, he's the most athletic, and he's going to run the break, too. The problem that we also have in too low is that I think you primarily looking at – I think you're looking at the numbers, but what I don't think that you mentioned in is with the Lakers' offense, the Lakers' offense is really stagnant. There's no action off the basketball. And I think that if that offense changed, I think that you can get a better Austin Reeves because you can put him in different spaces where he can make shots. If you put him in split action, if you put him in pin downs, they don't do any of that. They throw the ball oh, yeah. into Anthony Davis. They throw the ball into Anthony Davis, and then they just stand around the three-point line. Well, we're not going to get anything when when Anthony Davis gets the ball on the block and he gets jumped, and a guy is standing twenty-two feet away from him on the three-point line with his hands up. Well, that's not going to help us at all. I think the offense needs to change where they get more action off the basketball. I think they can be more productive. Or well, shoulder and D'Lo, or shoulder and D'Lo take turns t- doing two dribbles and then trying to cut at the rim, try to make something happen, just kick it out, and nothing happens, and they just back it up, back out, and just play hot potato with the ball. That's well, another dumb thing that happens with the offense. I, I'm, t- I'm talking about next next year when we get a when we get a better coach because that man does not need to be coaching no more. Especially with other other coaches that are available, he does not need to be coaching for this series and moving forward. Yes, unfortunately, Reeves is going to have to start because we right. need as much dynamic play as possible. Because you're right, there's not there's no one really generating enough quality looks. It's, it's pretty sad, bro. It was seventy four seventy five, and at one point it was seventy six to one hundred and one. Yes, they they went on the same. Oh, did y'all talk about? I'm pretty sure y'all did. Where the Bucks between the one minute mark in the third quarter. To like the the four minute mark in the um in the fourth quarter, went on like a ten minute stretch where they only made one field goal, two points from yeah. Giannis. I'm um, two points from Middleton and zero from Giannis. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. happened. That's why I tell. That's why I said yeah. to you guys, yeah. don't look at that thirty eight and twenty because that's gonna trick you. Don't yeah. look at the box score and see that thirty eight and twenty. They were going stretches where they got nothing, and the reason why they got nothing because Giannis is coming down on the left side of the floor, and what they're doing is they're packing the paint. They get action off the basketball, and then they get Giannis right back at the elbow where Bam is telling them, "Knock yourself out." And knock I think yourself out. I think the stretch you were referring to for the Lakers, um, yeah, it was that it was a, that that three minute, four minute mark when they took out AD when Ham took out AD. So I want to say like the four, four, six, like in early in the, it was I think it was a little early in the fourth, where like they went from seventy four to seventy six in like seven minutes of action. It was crazy. Like I was like, bro, there's just no way. And I think the only shot that they made, ironically enough, was like a, a, a open, wide open Malik Beasley three, where they just kept he just kept chucking it over and over and over again, and finally made something. That was. Well, that was bad basketball, bro. But yeah, I agree with Damo as well. I can't say it was all just Dar- Darvin. That was probably the worst basketball I've seen from LeBron in, in quite some time. Right. Um. Um. Malik and every Beasley. starter not named uh, Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is the only player I want to say that had a good game. Other the thing than I'm concerned every, with Damo. The thing I'm concerned oh, with with Anthony. The thing I'm concerned with with Anthony Davis is did you get a wasted effort? Am I going to get that again from him? Did I Defense. waste the game? 
you wasted an offensive game because he's not been, he hasn't been the most consistent, at least in this round, in this series. So you might have wasted an offensive game. Next game he can come out and give you 10 points. Defensively, you're gonna get the same effort every night, though. I don't know if I don't I don't know if I need 30 and 20 from him in order to win this. However, you don't. You don't. I, I don't think I don't think that I need 30 and 20 from him. However, I do think that we need more than 17. I think if I can get 22 and 11, if I can get 23, if I can get 23, nine and four blocks. That means that the other guys are doing other stuff. What I can't get is I can't get 12 points. That's not good enough. I, I want to get it done. You, I wanna, can get 12, you can get 12 points in great defense if everyone else is doing their job. I'm about if to say, you, you, you might be able to. Game, if yeah. Austin Reeves isn't shooting 4 for 11, well, what, what was it? 4 for 13. D'Lo's not shooting 4 for 11. LeBron's this is game five 6, for though, Damo. This is not game 1 or game 2. This is game 6. This is an elimination. D'Lo's, D-Lo's doing what D'Lo does. D'Lo is doing what he's doing, yes. He's the... Playing At least he's playing making, but- and 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 uh, to be fair, he did last game. Ad ironically did give twelve points and win. I understand what you're saying. It's a different environment now because they're trying to close it out. I think game four was also a very monumental game because that's the difference between two two and three one for the yes. um, Grizzlies. So I think that was also a very monumental game, which is why I went to OT. But mm-hmm. technically speaking, they did get a twelve point game out of Ad. Still won it, but it did take. Everyone I mean, redi- everyone and ridiculous effort and OT and then LeBron to turn back the, the wheels of time in that fourth quarter in overtime just for them to win that game. I hope they shouldn't have to do all of that because out of everything that's been consistent that I know will happen from Memphis, Dylan Brooks, he we I call him our sixth man because he played for the Lakers. I don't know what to say. He with us. He, D- D- Dylan he Brooks. Don't worry about him. He with us. And that <laughs> is why I said Dylan Brooks – is on the Grizzlies, and that's why the Lakers will win. Yes, I hate Dylan Brooks is him. the Julius Randle to Grizzlies. Yes, one no, he's no, 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 he's no, worse. no, 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 no. Oh yeah, he's worse. He's, he's not one he's to scorner, way he's, worse. He's, he's worse. No, he's no, I, he's like yeah, it's. He's, I'm watching. It's laughing. I'm watching with my daughter last night. She's like, I've been watching them, and I've never seen him score. <laughs> 16 year old I've never seen him score and, and, and taking all the shots him. too yeah, and I see I see him guys. shoot all the time and I always know he's missing and all it seems like time. I see he ends the game with like one or two made frees I'm like I must have been looking at my phone because I swear I never see it go in every time he shoots I'm just clearly not watching when he makes it I but I wanted, to, I wanted to ask Ron, um, how long until I see LeBron's jump shot um, get back to his... Yeah, when is that supposed to happen? Because I got told I was coming during the regular Le- Le- season. Le- 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 now the playoffs are coming. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. When, when we were having this discussion, what was he shooting? Like 26, 27? Like, you said it would get, be, get you said it would get back to that. You said, yeah, I you said, said it would get like to 35, and, and, and what did it what did it end at? 32, Like 33? I think it was like 32, but I, mean, I, could, like, I could check. Like, but in the playoffs, like I know, in the playoffs, I know it's like five percent. So 30, how 30, 32. Yeah. 32? Okay, so, that was a so, significant raise. But what what I'm saying though is didn't Bron he hasn't had a, a couple good shooting games? Game two in this in this series? In this in, in this in this maybe series, I can I think he's no, made like it was one game things. where he was really lighting it up from out there. That's what I'm saying. Maybe, I said maybe one, maybe right. just one. Well, there's but. been there's been five games. Okay. So what? What? How, what no, 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 no. Let, me, let, me answer, let me answer. Let me answer him. Literally, game one, LeBron shot fifty percent from the field and three for eight from behind the arc. The game after that, the the game after that, he shot one for eight. The game after that, zero for four. The game after that, one for seven. The game after that, one for nine. He has been a historically bad three point shooter. Yeah. So how how long am I waiting until LeBron just Please. gets back to his average? Or can we admit that he can't shoot? Please, I'm not. I'm not gonna go that far. And that, and 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 then to say that he's just as good as he was in oh, Miami. Miami exactly. In Miami, that's ridiculous. But we're getting down to the bottom to a lot of these takes that people didn't had this year. We oh, got to, oh, hey, hey, and out of everybody, out of everybody, rewind, guess who's not in the burner? <laughs> rewind, rewind, rewind low. Are you telling me that you heard somebody say that LeBron James in 2023 is mm-hmm. the same as LeBron James? Looks, does, in looks the same as he did 10 looks years ago. Who said that? Ron. Ron da, da, did not say da, da, that. Da, 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 LeBron, LeBron da, da, said da, 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 that. Da, 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 da. Yo. Ron, there's no way you. No hey, way yo, you it was that, a stretch right. where Bron was going crazy, but hold on, no, you guys mean to tell me that Bron not finna turn back up? Please stop. I mean, he's gonna have 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 a good game, but I don't think he's gonna shoot threes well. No, I think he's gonna have a. He's probably gonna have great performances where he dominates and plays great. Threes threes is just part of the argument. Threes is part of the argument. I'm just talking about Brian. He's not getting to the basket like he used to. He not. He not. He not. Nothing. (laughs) Right. Right now. But right now, he looks significantly, completely different. 
than what he did at that stretch during the season when I was talking about that, when he was going ballistic. LeBron, for real, right now, he looks a whole lot slower. He looks – he just looks like a completely different player. So the 20 games where he played great is when you was making the argument. 20, uh, that 20 games. For that disgusting. month. Yeah, for that, that month. month. For that, for that month. For that, for that month and a half. I think he was averaging like 38 and 8, something like that. He was going ballistic, but right mm-hmm. now he, he looks like – this is the first time I'm looking at Braun and I'm like, damn. You got caught up in it, huh, Ron? You didn't say this in the beginning. You didn't say in the beginning of the season when I when I when I was going around trying to tell people that. But look, you said he wasn't top top twenty though. And that's when I was. He was like, wild for that, right? Right now, right now, right now, right now, low, chill out, low, low, chill out, low, right now, chill out, low. Right no, now, no, chill out, low. No, no, no. chill out, low. He chill definitely out, low. He, is he is he top um fifteen he's in the playoffs? 15. He's top fifteen. Top fifteen in the playoffs. Yeah, he. No, he just had a twenty twenty game. What are you he talking did. about? He did. He did. Eddie's showed I up did. in the clutch. What are you talking about, low? He had one. So we are making an argument for one game, not okay. just one game. Fine. Fine. And this is the one game. This was the fine. one game that that, that pushed them up to up three one in the mm-hmm. series. Mm-hmm. What are we talking about, low? Fine, fine. Come on, man. What else? He, uh, he's top 15 because of one game. Okay, cool. cool, cool, cool. cool. Now, Lebr- LeBron's a top 15 NBA player. You don't sound yeah. too confident saying that. But I, he's, he's top 15. I don't know if he's better than Jimmy Butler, but he's a top 15. He's definitely not better than Jimmy Butler. Man, no, pack no, AD man. up, bro. AD not even better than Jimmy Butler. AD's better. I'm not. Yeah, watch your mouth. AD, no, AD, AD's, AD's, AD's better. Oh, no, no, no. Talk about it. Can't Talk say that too confident. Just because like, whoa, 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 AD's whoa, whoa, whoa. better. Just because Jimmy was able to conquer some choker doesn't mean he's better than AD now. Has AD ever had a postseason like Jimmy Butler ever has? In 2020. 2020. In the debatable. debatable. That 20, what do you mean debatable? That's not debatable. That's what? not debatable. You mean debatable? No, if he continues. You said like his. You said like his. You did say like his. If you continues this run, though, Dub, you got it, dog. I ain't going to hold you, bro. Hey, if he continues this, this is historical. But it's no way he could keep up at this rate. But Jimmy Butler, right, for, you see, he had 2020 run, last year's run, and then this year's run. Not, had 20... not, not, not last year, because last year was a wasn't that a bad one? No, no, 2021 was a bad one. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Last year was when. Oh, yeah, that's right. He went, he went to the. He went to the. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. And so, why are we talking about the Milwaukee Bucks like the Milwaukee Bucks was an elite defense? They were at the middle of. They were in the middle of the league. Chill, 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 chill. Chill, 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 chill. They were in the middle of the league. They were in the middle of the league. They were. They were not. You like this year or last year? During during this season, they were in the top five. They were the whole time. They they were battling with Cleveland for the most part. Okay, straighten me out because I'm thinking about a team last year. Last year, last year without Brooklyn. Last year without Brooklyn. I got I got. They, they, they're about, probably okay. going to have three players right. who are going to make all defensive team this year. Okay, so I got it confused from last year because yeah, I'm thinking yeah. of myself. Yeah, last year about Brooklyn because okay. they looked. Okay. Yeah, last year was my fault. Yeah, my, yeah, fault. Yeah, yeah. my fault. I don't know. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm my fault. Hey. My, oh, oh, oh and low. You know what we got to talk that? about? The Drew Holiday still better than Gary Payton, bro? Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh Hell no. Low, come on, low. I ain't low. never seen Gary Payton get dog like that. Low, come on. Uh, I, hey, go, hey, go back and rewatch uh, Jordan, uh, the real Jordan, and then we saw Michael Jordan's son. Is this the same thing, man? Is the same thing. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> Was it the same thing? Heavy, heavy Jordan. If you if you if you watch the '96 Finals, um, they were doubling Michael Jordan almost every possession, even when Gary Payton was defending him. Bud decided not to double him. I don't know why. But that's what Bud does. He they, he did the same thing with Kevin Durant. He does like, the same thing. He does he, single he's coverage. He's a fraud. <laughs> he does single coverage. I don't know why. I don't know why. So, so, let's, yo, so, so let's take the 96 finals off the table. I mean, Gary Payton's getting scorched. And when is Michael Jordan's son? I don't know how to tell you. I, I can, when, I can when, only when, when is he? Because I've seen... I'm, I'm, I've, I've seen... Over the year, over 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 this year, I've seen guys give Drew Holiday the business, and I'm a, I'm a Drew Holiday advocate. I think he the best perimeter. I think he the best perimeter defender in the game. But that right there, which I'm still emotional over this because he left him out there by himself. I can't believe this. This is still bugging me hey, out. That he you left see, you see what Jimmy himself. said to him when he scored on Brooklyn. He said, Lopez? I own he said, you. No, he said, oh, he said, I own you, or that should have been you. 
No, he said well, he scored on Brook Lopez. He was, he was he was walking around I, I, looking at him. So I, I, I own either you. one. Either one when is he, disrespectful. When, when he, he scored, scored on Brook, Brook Lopez, and I went at him, I was like, I swear oh, he no, said that should have been you. I swear he said that should have been you, which is crazy. Where do you get that? You know where you get that confidence from? From just doing it. How about you go help this dude? Yeah, that was crazy, man. Yo, ticket. Are you are you present? You here? But yeah, run, I ain't gonna hold you though. Running around telling people whatever he said. Oh my god! Demonstratively, like just looking, just eyeballing him down. Yeah. After I'm better than you. Score. That's all that was. Crazy. That was. Crazy. It, it was in nothing more. In the back I love that shit, here. man. I love that basketball. That's what that's not that. I love that basketball. That was nothing. It was nothing. Free throws. They were shooting free throws. They are in the backcourt, and he's just over them. Like it was. It was nothing. It was nothing more than I'm better than you. I'm better than you. That and there's nothing crazy. you can do about it. And you Not can't do nothing about it. I'm going to kick your, your ass today. You. None of these That's dudes are going to help you. That's crazy. You that can't do nothing. And by the way, not only am I better than you, Mr. Self-Proclaimed, not, not self, and it's not a self-proclaimed title. I don't think it's I'm better than you, Mr. Best Defender, Mr. Best Perimeter Defender in the game. I'm better than you. And I'm going to kick your ass. And everybody also, I think they did a, a the athletic did like a recent poll of like who's the most underrated and the best defensive perimeter mm -hmm. player. And they, they all voted. Players voted for Drew. Yes. I mean, I'm not everybody, for Drew Holiday. But Drew Holiday, everybody did that. Now, I can tell you right now, he will not do that against Josh ha Josh Hart. No, he will not. And the reason why, the re <laughs> you can all you want. And the reason why you can all you want, you can all you want is because hey, Tibbs is I not going to leave him on that yeah, island. That, 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 that is true. Tibbs is, is not going to leave him on that island I, I can't say no what way. Jimmy, I can't say no. what Jimmy isn't, isn't mm -hmm. or is not going to do at this point. I can't. I, I can. can't. I can tell you right now. No, I can't he say is that. Not gonna, like, he's, he's, he's not going to leave him. Oh, he is man. not going to leave him by himself with any of them dudes. Now that is None true. of them. That is, that is true. He I don't will know why, not. But, no. But is, but is crazy. This is the this, this is the consummate New York attitude. You just swing on him. We're jumping. Don't worry. But is, swing but on him crazy. and we'll jump in. I promise you that. Yo, we are fellas, not going to leave you by yourself. Fellas, I need game six predictions, Lakers and Memphis. I need I need everybody to chime in. Uh, Mars, we're going to start with you. Who did I have winning the series before the series started? Memphis. Then I then I'm gonna just save it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand on it. Memphis going Memphis going no to game seven. You don't no have way. to stand on it. Bro. You don't have. No, to I, I I think the Lakers are gonna win, but I've been wrong about too many series. So. Yeah, it's okay. crazy. I've only been right about Denver, Phoenix. Well, are you? But you 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 only right about Phoenix because the Clippers are hurt. Mars, you are allowed to change your opinion. Lost. Provided with new information, you are. Oh yeah, I, I can change my about. opinion. I just don't like how wrong I've been about. Wait, who, who 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 were you about? Because because Fluen brought it up. What about the Warriors and Kings? Who were you? I had about? Kings in six. I was wrong. I now I I was talking the other day. I said whoever wins Game Five, I think will win the series. But I did have Kings in six. I, I now have, I, have, I, have, I have Warriors in six. I now I now have Warriors. Hold on, hold on. We'll get to oh, that. Oh, and the sixes I was right about, but that was just obvious. Oh, the dub. I need predictions on Game Six. Is it is it is it over Lakers. in six or is it going to seven? No, nah, no, nah, Lakers in six, bro. Lakers in six. I don't no. know. I mean, I'm not overreacting off that game. Now, if they lose, oh man, we gonna have to have some. <laughs> we got the real you know? combos. <laughs> we gonna have some real combos, especially bro. about that boy AD. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna tell y'all, we gonna have to have some combos. He's not better than Jimmy Butler. I would give a damn. If he's they, not. If, they if he lose, no, he's not. I right, so this 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 run, we're gonna get down to the yeah, bottom. Yes, we games. are, and that's why I love it. I love it. I love this year's playoffs. It's amazing. Yeah, we're gonna get to the bottom. Lakers is six. Lakers is six. Damo, game six. Thoughts and predictions. Is it going to seven or is it over? Um, yeah, you know, Lumphead ain't gonna pull no crazy lineups. Uh, LeBron's not gonna play as bad. I got us in six. We're gonna close it out. We're gonna do our job. Um, AD's gonna prove again. He's probably gonna have another great game. I'm predicting AD to have another great game, be the best player on the court for us, and prove you know that 2020 narrative still stands. He's better than Giannis. He's been better than Jimmy. I don't know what what this conversation is. He's been better than Jimmy, and yeah, we're one step close to a finals. I oh, agree man. with that, Jimmy Butler. He ain't better than Giannis. That man, no, Jimmy, took LeBron that. and AD to game six alone, man. Get out <laughs> We of praising here. losing? Yeah, he had Kelly Olynyk out there as a starter five. Oh, wow. Uh, you know what Kelly Olynyk does against LeBron James, though. That's not too oh, bad. Oh, that is true. You know that it. You true. know what Kelly Olynyk does. Well, it's still not AD. Hey, still man, tell, please, please tell Pat Riley to get that man some help, bro. Because yeah, ain't going to lie. That don't might fall asleep. You, you guys, you guys, this is not When you have an opportunity to get rid of Kyle Lowry, don't fall asleep. What the hell? Oh, my God. I'll never forget that. Yeah. The, the Heat shot 45% from free against the Bucks. I don't know what more help you want. 
That is true as well. Well, I'm talking they, about just talking like about the beyond, Russian team in the NBA. And beyond, like beyond, the, beyond, the, I've beyond. I've never the seen a turnaround. I've never seen a turnaround well, when, when you're Bud, one of the when, worst offenses, one of the worst three point shooting teams in the and, league, mm-hmm. and against the arguably like a top five defense in the league. Yes, you're automatically the best. How the I hell? Think they the, I think they've been Bud, the best offense in the playoffs. I think. Yeah, but 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 has to be fired because of that alone. That that alone is why Coach Bud should be fired. Bro. We not making Lakers predictions. Why are we talking about that? They're out. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, my Lakers and six. Lakers and six. Nah, you too lack. You too lagging right now, bro. You gotta go somewhere else. My bad. I'm sorry. You too. Lagging. Why would you? Oh my. <laughs> La- I got Lakers and six. Lakers and six. I have no Lakers and six as well. I have Lakers and six as well. <laughs> Chill. Who you got? I said before the series started, the longer if Memphis is gonna win this series, they got to do it quick. The longer the series lasts, the less I like them, and I don't like them in Game Six. I think the Lakers. I, I think the Lakers go home, and I think they end this. I think their role players play better at home. And I think they end this series. No doubt. Fluent. You there? Well, apparently I'm lagging. So Lakers and six. Lakers and six. Like I told y'all, it's the first step to success. The Lakers. You said the you said the Lakers in three. <laughs> I did say the Lakers in three, but I forgot I forgot we need extra money. I forgot we need extra money. We need some All right, cool, cool. Yo, Dale. Uh, yeah, Lakers and six. I had them in five, Lakers and six. And I don't know if this been hurt. I'm sorry for when I got to b- bring up the Bucks again, but it's been a it was a kind of a tough day for Wisconsin losing Aaron Rodgers and then this pretty tough. <laughs> they should have been got rid of Aaron Rodgers. Not Tone, not for, t- not for Tone. Tone is Tone is a Bears fan. He is packing Aaron Rodgers' clothes, <laughs> he's taking him to the airport, right? He's putting him on the plane, he's giving him food, he getting Aaron Rodgers out of Green Bay. He do not want Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay anymore. He's good. Oh no no! I, I packed up his bag. I I drove him to the airport. Yeah, he's straight. Okay. Yeah, he's straight on that. All right, y'all. We're gonna keep it pushing to the last game of the night. <laughs> Has anybody seen Ox? Nope. Is he nope. anywhere poor to be found? Poor, 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 last night. He was poor, 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 He's on, all right, man. he's all right, man. He I'm a, a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a light the beam, man. I'm a light the beam for Ox, man. Light that beam, chat. Light that beam, man. We lighting the beams on losses now? This is crazy. Actually, I want I want Sacramento to win because I think the, the Lakers have a really good chance of beating that team, no cap. Because it's a bonus? That is true. Yeah, because it's a bonus alone. <laughs> because it's a bonus alone. AD European, being able to roam. Julius Randle. AD being able to roam off of Sabonis? Man, oh, man. Malik Monk shot chucking. Oh man, give me that in the second round. <laughs> give me that in the second round. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The longer and longer um the Warriors play, the more and more better they look because uh that man Wiggins, he start looking better, Clay start looking better. Yeah, I can't. Game six, Clay. Great, 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 Oh, game six, Clay. Game six, Clay coming up. Game six, Clay is coming up. He's been playing well. Wait, 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 Dub. What's the rules for game six, Clay? So we, because because they're technically not down. So is he gonna make a? He gonna show up tomorrow? Listen, listen, listen. Right, I and I asked Mars this on Open Gym. I said, if Clay Hot Thompson has a good game, are you guys gonna sit here and say that game six Clay is a thing? Because when we look through the history of game six Clay. Oh my God! It's since crazy. 2016. He's five good games and three bad games. No, I five good crazy. games, five crazy games. Ox, like he's why going you in the 50 chat? from the field and 50 from three. Why are you in the 30. chat, Ox? So wait, wait, but, okay. My my my, qu- my question my question is my question is uh, it does it meet the requirements? Because technically speaking, what I'm saying, what Mars is saying, is that it's not necessarily game six. It's just that one of the big games that they need to win is when he shows up. I would argue last night was the big game that he needed to show up, and he mm-hmm. did show up. Mm-hmm. That's my that's my argument. That it's not necessarily a game six; it's just one of the big games they need him. Technically speaking, because it's another game. Yeah, it tends to be the game six when they're down. It tends three. to be when they're when they're down a lot. They, they were they no, were no, up three two in game though. six in the finals, and it looked abysmal. So like it, it depends. That's, what, that's, Mars, what I'm, that's, that's listen, Mars. We went through the track record. Yeah, five and three out of second. the eight game sixes since 2016, five, yeah, five. of them. Were crazy. No, crazy but when they're games. but when they're down in the series, no, it's when they're down. The one against series. Memphis just, is the only one they were up. I think. You got Oklahoma City Thunder down. Uh, they were down. Houston Rockets down. Uh, down. Twenty eighteen, uh, twenty nineteen. Were they down or up in Game Six? I think they were up. They right? they were up, and you could have a crazy game. I I didn't agree, but you could have fifty game. from fifty. Come on, bro. Who shoot fifty from fifty? But he just but he just did that. He did that last night. I I think it's the 
game. I just think it's one of the more important games. He had it last night. Who knows they're gonna happen? No, if in, Game in Six happens, I want you to see here. You say Game Six plays the thing. Fuck that shit. I'm, I'm standing that. that. I'm, you hey, better hey, stay. If they Golden, they if they Golden State win the series, I'm back on the bandwagon. <laughs> You're disgusting. Nah, no, I'm lying. No, 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 I'm no, lying. No, no, Jesus Christ. No, no, no. I'm you're lying. Not, no, you're not no. welcome. Yeah, you're, you're not, not welcome. welcome. I don't want to be back. No, I'm lying. No, no. Jesus Christ. Now, wait, wait, Mars. Mar- Mar- if there is a run, though, that can be made, I'm going to pull a ticket. Now, if there is a run that could be made, now with, now with Giannis and the Bucks out, if mm. somehow, some way, if, if, the Warriors make their way back to the finals against that same Boston Celtics team. We get a rematch, and Curry wins another ring. Oh, God. We're going to have to start having Magic Johnson and Curry convos. And I know some of y'all on this panel Star. may not like it. Some of Star. y'all might not Some of y'all Star. might not like it. Star. Y'all haven't had that combo yet? Some, yet. Some, some, yet. Some, 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 but some people might not like it. Oh, he's don't a better point guard. Don't, 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 don't say some. Don't say some people. Low name names. Yeah, because because personally, I already got and, him and over. Anyone over the age of Bird. Yeah, I, got yeah, I, I got him over Bird. I got him over Bird anyway. I, I oh wait. That. Speaking speaking of age, I had to say this, man. I've officially joined the old head crew yesterday, man. Hey, happy birthday! Yeah, yesterday man. is my birthday. I'm I am now officially thirty years old, man. Dirty the old head? No, no, that doesn't work. No, that doesn't work. I'm, See, here's I'm the difference. This, 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 Chad, this, this, Chad, this, this, I'm an old head, man. This, this is old what you are, low, man. So, oh, so man. if that, so if that's the case, this is what it is. So you at thirty, you old, you you're the old head running around with twenty year olds, and me, I'm the young dude running around with old people. Who are you yeah. running around with? Exactly. That's the idea. Bill Russell, I guess. Yeah, that's the idea. You the you you the old head when you're thirty. You the old head when it comes to teenagers and twenty year olds. And I'm the young dude when it comes to people my mother's age. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a fact. That's I see what you're saying. And then people your age, you just your age. Um, that's it. You just 30. but but to but to most of America, chill. How are you, you're young old. man? I'm like, what do you mean, I'm young man? I'm like, damn. I'm, I had to go hey, look in the mirror. A lot, I'm like, a wait a minute, what? A lot. A lot of uh, uh uh no I'm not gonna do it nope wait no say it because I yo, lot, it's, if of... Curry if Curry win are we gonna have to have oh, real... no, I wasn't gonna talk about oh, that. no he wasn't gonna talk about that but 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 what he was gonna talk about just so you know Dub I still got it yeah I do. hey that's what I'm saying I hey! still got it yeah I still got it buddy. yes I do still they, got they it. like a they like a man I with still, mileage I, on them you feel me I still got it yes all right all right all right all right all right all right let's keep it Hey, no, 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 after dark, we, we, we can do that later tonight. Yo, shout out to Curry and, and the Warriors, man. I'm not trying to get too ahead of myself, but if they do make it, because they, j- I actually do believe the only real challenge at this point will be the Nuggets. I we'll said that. I, I said this. If, if Steph wins his fifth ring, he's over LeBron. Uh, we've had this conversation. Shut had, the shut we, up. We, we had the, we had this conversation. Shut up. You're that trolling. If you look, if you look, if, if you look if, I know who you he's. You're pandering to right now. Shut up. Just if shut you up, Mars. Five look rings at the LeBron James era. Mars. You're telling me he's not open. I don't know if that's ridiculous shut to up, say. Mars. I Mars. really shut, don't. Shut he's up, He's in the Kobe Mars. conversation. People going to talk about him. Oh, he'll 100%. Oh, my. People no, you know. People are 100% be saying that's Kobe. A, that's the that's 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 other name that I know y'all going to argue to death. That's the oh, other name. I will argue that to death. I know, I know, I know. And that's the other name that y'all don't want to have because it's going to be magic and Kobe. Because the Western Conference was as tight as it was, I was not down to give up on the Golden State Warriors. I still feel like the road to the NBA championship goes through San Francisco. And I think the one team in the Western Conference, and that's the Denver Nuggets, I think they got the best opportunity to dethrone them. And I so I would not that. be I would not be surprised if the Golden State Warriors was back in the final. That would not surprise me. Okay, at all. and now with Milwaukee out, how do you feel about their chances? That's the other thing. With the, I think that they could win it. Mm. I do think that they could win it with Milwaukee. Yeah, I because to be honest with you, with Milwaukee in it, I thought that Milwaukee would smoke those dudes. But now that they're gone, mm. I just I, I there's no reason why. The Golden State Warriors couldn't win it. No reason why. And so, to be honest with you, I'm you ain't even got to say it, Mars. If they end up as a six seed, make it to the NBA Finals win. and win the NBA championship, and Steph Curry is the best player in the series, we absolutely have to start having a different conversation. Would you no put him at because you you got Kobe at eleven? So is he? Going I to do. Kobe? Is he going over Kobe? <sighs> we got we we we. Is we he not have... in your top? Would that not unanimously put him in the top ten? Yeah, Shaq at ten. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, Shaq right at there. ten. He does. I know, but I'm saying, but I mean, damn, Curry has to do more than five championships to be in a, as a top oh ten. It's, 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 hold, hold on, though, dog. Don't make it in a back to back on one. He's the six oh seed, two God. finals MVP. He has He's to do like... more to, 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 than that to be a top ten player. Even, my even if even if even if that's true, I mean, we we are talking about a guy who, if that happens this year, this is the second time in what seven trips 
the second time in seven trips that he was the best player in the championship series, which is what you're going off of. That means that that's five, not true. That, it's, that, it's technically that, the third time, but you don't that, believe absolutely, that you, you don't I absolutely believe that. Believe that. I, I, you don't believe okay, that so, Iguodala so, was better than him. You I'm not saying that. that Iguodala was just because you're the finals MVP does not mean you're the best player in the championship okay, so series. Wouldn't be the and first? he was not the best play, he was not the best player in that championship series in 2015. He was oh, not. you talking about LeBron. Okay, okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. So with but with that, so when I think about him winning the NBA championship for the fifth time in what? Let's see, what are we in? Twenty twenty three for the fifth time in what? Eight years? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the fifth time in eight years and being the best player, we do have to have a different conversation. Even though I brought up all the logic about you know Steph Curry was not that dude from the door. I mean, he didn't make the All Pro team until year four. Not only did he not make the All Pro team until year four, he was only first team All League. I think four of the of the nine years that he'd been an All Pro, even though James was was All Pro first team. What he missed it. He missed it one time in the decade from 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 2010 to 2019. He only missed it one time. With that also being said, Steph Curry has been the catalyst to this group. And with these three dudes being together, it'll be pretty difficult to not have a serious conversation about him being a top 10 player all time. Man, that's it would, crazy. It, it, you it, would be, it, it, would be, it, it would be real difficult to not have that conversation and that's be crazy. like, yo, this dude got to come out. Can, he, he, can I ask you something, Joe? That's crazy. How many times has Stephen Curry been the best player in the league? Like for how many years in his career? That's crazy. To be honest with you, I don't ever think he was the best player in the league. So even I'm the year, even the year he won, in, even what, even the year he won the unanimous league MVP, I don't think he was the best player in the league that year. Do you I think agree. he? Do you I think agree. he'd be the best player in the league this year? With the regular season that he had, albeit injured, well, and not, he not goes not. and dominating the playoffs and wins a championship, would he well, not? We, well, well, rewind it. Well, let's take it a step further than that. Even if they dominate, if he dominated in the playoffs, he's unanimously the best player in the league. Why would I say that? Because when was the last time that we had a Finals MVP? win the NBA championship, and then come back the next year and win it again, and is the finals MVP again. That's the best player in the game. Okay. I think so that's he, the biggest so, part. So that's he one year. He would be the best player in the game because so, okay. I, 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 I had that same standard for other guys. Tim Duncan was the best player in the game when he did that. James was the best player. Jordan was the best player. These guys were the best Kobe. players in the game. You, Kobe? Brian you also, Kobe was the best in 2010? Even though I didn't think he was a better player than James, I still felt like, yo, this is the best. I had to give it up. He was the okay. best player in the game. I had to give that up, even with that being said. So if Curry were to do that, there's no way that I can deny if I'm holding him, if I'm holding him to the standard of the, of the rest of these dudes, if I'm holding him to that standard, then there's no way that I can deny if he were to do something like that, that he's the best, that he's not the best player. Can I, can I ask you a question? How many times was Magic the best player in the finals? How many times was Magic the best player in the finals? Isn't it three? 87, 87 he was the best player in the finals. Um, 88, he was the best player. James Worthy just played better. He was the best player in the finals in 88. But well, we got to say... The fact that the, 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 the fact that you're the fact that you're the finals MVP because that's a tricky situation, Low, because at no point did anybody ever think Cedric Maxwell was better than Larry Bird. But no point. I know no, but no, no, who no, played no, the best in the championship best? series. Like, that, was your, well, well, that was that was well, your well, argument well, who, for who, who, against Curry. So who, who, who played who played, played the, the best? best? Okay, so James Worthy did play the best. Okay. In, the, in, in that championship. No, 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 series. Mars. Let him let him yeah. let him spit. Let him spit, Mars. J so James, how James many times was Magic Johnson he play the best in a in a championship? series the way I that think, you just brought up for curry how I, many think, times for I, I think in 83 uh, in, in 82 i think he played the best i think in 87 uh, i think he, yeah i think in 82 he played the best i think in 87 he played the best um i want to say in 88 i want to say that but james but james worthy even though James Worthy won the Finals MVP, I think that against the Detroit Bad Boys, that Pistons team, that defense, I mean, James Worthy kicked Dennis Rodman ass. Yes, he did. So it was two. He he absolutely kicked Dennis Rodman ass. And in eighty, when when what he did in eighty, even though Jabbar was thirty and fifteen in that series. So who was the right? best player in that series? It was Jabbar. Jabbar, Jabbar was the best so player. So it's in that two. Series. So it was two Jabbar. years. That Magic Johnson was the best. And I just want to make sure we keep the, the way that we criticize these players the same. And so if you're saying that about Curry, albeit mm -hmm. that's fine, but right. then we had to say the same thing about Magic. And so, Correct. again, we're going to have these conversations. That's all mm -hmm. I'm saying. I, I do have another question about Curry, right? Because I think the Because you were saying about Kobe. I do think it. And by the way, and, 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 and by the way, 
in, in 85, in 85, by the way, in, in 85, I thought he was the best player, but Jabbar played the best. Okay. I do think yeah, he was. I, I, I think. I think. I think. He, I, think he, I think. My. I think Magic was the best player in '85. In the. In, in, well, in but we talking about too. who played the, and that's all. And and so, and also, you can say the same thing about Kobe, where it, it might genuinely only be two finals where Kobe was the best player on, or he performed the best in that series. Correct. It's again. It's a difference between playing the best and being the best player. Yes, there okay, is okay. a difference. All right, that's two, that's fine. Two, but how, two, how did how did how did you what in what way were you when you spoke about Curry? Which way were you right. speaking about? So I can be clear. Were you speaking about being the best player or performing the best? Which way? I want to be, make sure. be, be being the best player. So for example, in 2015, I thought James was the best player in that series. Oh well, you want to criticize him because he just goes up against a better player? Well, that's what we do, don't we? But you think LeBron's the best ever? Right. So it doesn't. So it doesn't so Steph matter. going against LeBron, everyone wouldn't be the best player in that yeah, series. Yeah, exactly. In your opinion, like Michael Jordan wouldn't be the best player in that series. Is that that, that, is, that is what you're saying? That that, that is valid. That, that so is so, valid that, so why would that go against someone's career just because they went up against the best player? That, that I don't. The fact, the fact that they beat the you best mean player. you mean I'm. I'm. This is why I think I think you mean that he performed better. I because I do think that LeBron performed better, but to he say did. that. This to, to knock somebody because they just went up against somebody who's better. I think that's a. I don't think that's a fair knock. Well, it, you could be a better player than somebody, but then not. So, for example, I think James is a better player than Dirk Nowitzki, but Dirk Nowitzki outplayed James in the finals. I know, but yeah. that's why I'm, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Are you arguing what is the what is the criticism? Even though even though James is a better player than Dirk Nowitzki, Dirk mm -hmm. Nowitzki did outplay him. He was the best player in that series. And so that's what I'm asking: Is it he, who's a better he was, player? He, he was he, he, was, the, he was the best better. player in that series. But he performed because he performed. Yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, he did perform better. He outplayed. But he, but he wasn't. But he wasn't a but better wasn't, player. So that's so that's what I'm saying. You're talking Dirk about Nowitzki was, Dirk Nowitzki was not a better player than LeBron James, okay. but he did outperform James in that series. And so, he Say, just, but now when I think about Steph Curry in 2015, when I think about Steph Curry in 2015, he did not outperform James in okay. that series. So that's and so James that's is and he, and he not only did he not outperform James in that series, James is the better player. Without a doubt. But but that's the criticism is that he didn't he didn't perform as the best right. player. Okay, so then again, I have to ask the question: How how applicable is that to Magic and Kobe? That's my only question. Because if that's the if that's the case, then Curry would have two finals where he performed as the best and has five championships right. similar to both Kobe and Magic. Correct. Correct. Okay. So but it would also, make, but 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 we want to make sure we're there. That's all. No, we we we, sure we, we all there. I'm, I'm, I'm bird, bird, to be honest. Bird to me bird. is already out of here. Yeah, but Chu has Chu has bird in his top ten, right? I do have bird in my top ten. Bird, 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 yes, bird to me is already out of here. Oh my god, he packed yeah. up. It's done. Dude, yeah. That was done. That was done last year to me. Fellas, we got to bring it back though. Okay. Game six predictions: Warriors and Kings. Damn, how did we get there? Yeah, yeah, we. Uh, we, we, we I, 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 have I have warriors. I have warriors. I have warriors. I have warriors. I also have Golden State. You bandwagon. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I'm taking Golden State. I said the Lakers already. I said the Lakers. <clears throat> no, we talking about the dog. Oh, 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 Focus, oh, dog. I'm sorry, I'm hungover, bro. It was a long night. Uh, hey, can't wait yeah. to call you after this. Hey, he's celebrating like he was in Miami. Hey, I, I wish I was, bro. I was gone, but uh. Give me dubs, yeah. Dubs and oh, six. Wade. Dubs, dubs and six. Okay, Damo, who you got? <laughs> oh, dubs and six. D Nobody has it. Chill. No. I had I had before the season before the series started, I had the dubs and six. My my whole prediction was predicated on Golden State not winning a game in Sacramento. And they did. It. So once they did that, I was wrong. Uh so getting back to that game, it is a couple things that we have to talk about. We have no, to talk about the culture. The yeah, he you didn't ask Dell, man. Damn. Who, who you got, Dell? I got Warriors winning it, so <laughs> that tells you who I have. Got you, got you. But do you got it in six or seven? Oh, no, 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 no. no. I don't know if you go back to Sacramento and get another one, so. <laughs> they no, they're not going there and winning again. No, they're not going yeah, to Sacramento and so, so winning they, again. Yeah, so they better not play with them. Yeah, they, we got what we came for. We straight. We already got what we came for. We good. All right, y'all. So it's it's just a couple things from from this series, and especially like well, the game that well, I want to highlight. But, but I don't I don't get the answer. 
You guys' mics are terrible. Your mics are Your mics are bad. 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 Can you hear? Can you hear me? Can you hear me right now? Just say yeah. Just, just say, just say, right just, say answer, just say the answer. Just say the answer. Yo, Dove, Dove's in the Darren Fox MIA zero point third quarter. He's a fraud. He's a fraud. <laughs> Dove. All right, yo. Yeah. <laughs> right. We apologize for you guys listening to the experience right there. Saying, saying, the, out of all the things we heard, De'Aaron Fox being a fraud. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, like, that's that zero, points a, a, zero points in the fourth quarter. Zero. That being a, that being able to pierce that through. Is wild. That was better than Ja. That's the. That's but the we guy can't. We can't dismiss. Ja? We can't dismiss everything oh, he was. Everything he's else he was doing well, in the no. postseason. Come on, he's man. better than Ja. He's better. Come on, we can't dismiss everything else. Ja, and shout out to Ja because he is battling through a hurt, um, hurt hand, but. No, he better than yeah. Hey, Big Ox making the promises in the chat. I'm going to see you tomorrow, yeah. Fluent. Oh, chill, chill. <laughs> to talk about Tyler Hero, because I, I remember we was talking about, like, finger or hand. He broke his hand. It, it's a, a metacarpal. Oh. So the metacarpal, like, you got your fingers here. Mm -hmm. no, we the metacarpal over here. is this is this right here. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's these parts right here. We don't need the doctor dog. Come on now. Nah, 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 because they was they was trying to get on Tyler Hero for not playing through a broken finger. I'm like, nah, he broke his hand. They didn't need him. They didn't need him. <laughs> early, they need him. That's true. That's true. That's true. Um, All right, yo, fellas, though, I do want to talk about the coaching change that Steve Kerr made and Draymond coming off the bench, but also how good Draymond's played coming off the bench, yeah. especially this last game, and Kavon Looney, what he's been doing. How, how do how do we feel about this? You mean, you mean Kavon Olajuwon? Kavon <laughs> mm. Looney, Kavon Looney should be a Western Conference Finals MVP. They robbed him. So he pl he plays well in the playoffs, and he's one of the best offensive rebounders in the league. I I said I said not months ago. I said a few weeks ago, Kavon Looney is like the fourth or fifth best player on this team. He's better than Jordan Poole. I said Kavon Looney is better than Jordan Poole, and I stand on the fact he's better than Jordan Poole. Hey. I don't care about all the fancy dribbles and the fact that he can shoot from thirty feet. Damn. Kavon Looney is a much more valuable player than Jordan Poole is. Damn. I don't care. And I, just because you guys are infatuated with scoring and bag and hezy tween. Kavon Looney just does more for winning than Jordan Poole does. That's the so, difference. That's the there difference right there with, with the conversation that Lowe and I just had about being the best player in the championship series and being a better player. Well, it's the same object with being more valuable than the guy being I a better, better player. player. Yeah, it's Jordan, Jordan, Jordan Poole can be more valuable. Well, somebody, somebody echo. Hello, hello, hello. I just muted you. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was there. Yeah, Jordan, um, Jordan Poole can be a more skilled player, but more skilled doesn't make you a better player. Kevon right. Looney is just better. He's be much better defensively, much better on the glass. Some I don't even. He might be a better passer, to be honest. But he's just he's just a better player. Than so Charles so Miles, when you so when you do more, and you're more productive, and it leads to more success, would that mean that you better? The way the way I always view better is just how impactful are you towards your team success right. and how impactful you can be based on your game in high level situations. Right. So players like who's a player I could think of? Like Scottie Jordan Pippen. Scottie Pippen. Yeah, Scottie Pippen. He's a very good player in his role. Someone who might be more skilled than him. I need an example. Someone who might be more skilled. Some, than Paul Pippen. George. Scottie Pippen is better than Paul George. Scottie Pippen, to me, is a better player than Paul George because he brings so much more defensively. He brings so much more as a passer. He brings so much more in transition. He just does so many things that impact the winning at a high level compared to someone who's a shot creator and isn't one of the all-time great shot creators. Because if you're uh. just a mid-level shot creator like Jordan Poole is, there's only so much value, value you're bringing compared to Kevon Looney. Rebounding brings value everywhere you go. That's he right, brings that's value and, everywhere and, and, you go. And so he's fooled on defense. Player. Let's make sure we clear on that. He oh, yeah, he's egregious. Egregious. He is so fooled. Those, those things, I think, just make you... Those, those, those aren't the comparisons, um, Chill. You missed the opportunity for the clip. I'll, add, I'll say the two names. DeMar... Uh, not DeMar. Um, oh. Draymond Green and Carmelo Anthony. Oh, the same thing I said, what, a year ago? Yeah. yeah well, I think Draymond Green's better. There you go. Yeah, that's, yeah, a, that's that's the clip that you want right there. Yeah, and the, the mean, clip went the clip went viral a year ago, and I was yeah, saying the same thing. Draymond yeah. Green brings more value to me than Carmelo Anthony does. Mm. I, don't, I don't believe in that shit at all. You don't have to, and no one agrees with me, I and I don't ever, care. I, I don't care what Carmelo brings me as a number one because I know it would never work on championship level. <clears throat> Draymond Green as a number one will not bring me anything on a winning level at all. So I have to look at you in terms of what you bring 
in the level where I think you can win. Draymond Green is a number two. It, to me, is better than Carmelo as a number two. Draymond Green is a number three. It's better than Carmelo as a number three. Draymond Green is a number four. It's better than Carmelo as a number four. He brings more value to me in a winning level. Carmelo Anthony is miles more skilled. Clears him as a scorer. Isolation game second to none. <clears throat> doesn't bring more value to you than Draymond Green. <laughs> but, who, but who's a better player, Mars? Draymond Green is better to me. Facts. Draymond Green is better. That, that's just ridiculous. I'm not. I get. I know it's. Well, I know why people say it's ridiculous, and I'm fine. Well, the argument is. The argument is valid, though, because when you're talking about bringing value, that matters. Hey, man. A second option, first option, give me mellow every single. First time. option, give me mellow as well. But guess what? Yeah. That's a first round exit. I don't care. Second mm. option, Dre as a number two is not good. Well, Dre is a number two. 2015 two? was great. 2019 what? was great. 2022 uh, was great. Winning matters. Number two. Win yeah, Draymond Green. Yeah, I, well, yeah, because I think Draymond Green's always been better than Clay. Yeah, y'all think yeah, so Clay. That's yeah. why. That's so why maybe I reason, overstate Draymond reason, Green because I think he's the always been better. The reason why Clay. the reason why Draymond's deficiencies as offense is able to be at bay is mainly because of how good the offense has been for the uh, Golden State Warriors. Like, like well, I said, yeah, like the Golden State Warriors is, is a, an amazingly constructed team. So when I'm sitting I here agree. looking, when I'm sitting here looking at it, I'm like, all right, Draymond Green on average as a number two. Uh, number two has to have the ability to score, bro. Like, and they just do. No, so. he does not. No, he does, no, he does not. But that's because I, a lot of people view number two no, as second scoring not. option, whereas I just view it as second best player. Second best player. He's I know. Not... Second, I think the second best player on average. Good last teams, night, they need to be he, had, able to he had 21 score. last night, Dre, mm. Dre, 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 Draymond Green. Well, I just want to let you guys know all time, Draymond Green is better than T Mac. He's better than Kyrie. He's better than Devin Booker. He's not better than AI, but he's better than T Mac, Kyrie, and oh, Devin also, wait, yeah, wait, 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 hold on, Mars. Not Mars, I'm sorry. Uh, low as a number two, you do have to be able to score. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Because no, the, ben, the, the, what, the you second ben best Wallace... scorer can be the third best player. Because I think you Ben think... Wallace was a number two. I was going to say, do you think Ben Wallace one. was the one or two? I think, it, I think it's more applicable to the situation that okay, you're this, in. This situation. This is this is definitely a situation where Draymond oh, didn't ticket, have to score. I had to get another account to get in here. It's more applicable because of the situation that you in. So if you look at, so if you look at what been the situation that Ben Wallace was in, that was applicable to that situation that they were in where that team, they were in a high level scoring team, the Golden State Warriors where Draymond didn't have to score, but the stuff that he brought now could <laughs> shut, ben up, Wallace man. shut up, man, shut up, man. You got two lows in here, man. I don't came back with two tickets, sucker. Put them on the screen, man. Put them on the screen, man. See how they do. I had to go even the odds. They came with two lows, so anyway. I came with two tickets, sucker. Huh? On, both on, on both phones. Anyway. On both phones. On both phones. Believe it. The two tickets. Believe that. Two tickets. Who wants smoke now? Who, 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 which one of y'all want that smoke now? Huh? Two tickets. Super wild. So, who's better, Draymond Green or Carmelo Anthony? What you kind of question is that, though? You already know he about to say. I, you guys are tripping. I'm not even going to hold you, bro. I, I can't. The yeah, reason because you care about Curry. Because the reason. The reason why. Yo, Dale. It's bad right now. Yeah, we might have to pack you up, though. The, the reason the reason why Ben Wallace and Draymond Green was able to work as the second best guys because they had so much offense that could make up for their deficiencies, right? Where ben Wallace, Wallace, I don't know about I don't know about so much offense. Yeah, the Pistons well, not really. The Pistons Char not really. Charlie Rip Hamilton. That's uh, not so uh, much offense. That's so much. That offense was it makes up. They but they were one, they, they didn't have one guy on that crew that averaged twenty a game. Not one. That, 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 that offense uh, it was. Uh, I, I, I see your point. They managed to get by. Yes, they managed to get by. But they got by primarily because they had an elite. Defense, though. and I was and I was spearheaded by Draymond Green and Ben Wallace. Right. Yeah, but I think in order for a number two like that to work, you got you need guys like that. You need guys like that to make up for their deficiencies. You need a charge. I, I, oh, no I, doubt about I, that. I, I, I You're not winning without Draymond. You're not winning without. But then, without then, I, but then I think that Grant. I think that goes the same way the other way around. Dray, Steph Curry is able to be so successful in the playoffs offensively because he has Draymond Green who's able to make up for his deficiencies defensively. We're just explaining team basketball at this point. Like that, that's all that is. I think I Draymond Green just brings more value to my team doing what he does than a guy who is an isolation scorer who isn't enough offensively to bring you over the edge. That's it. Which is also which, which is also which is also why that in totality State, dub not offensively in totality. Which is also why that Golden State Warriors oh, offense yeah. was so much better yesterday because Draymond Green is scoring because now that adds to the threat that he is as a passer, as a playmaker, as a distributor. So now that opens up their offense even more when he's scoring as opposed to when he's not doing anything, he kind of makes himself a liability. Yeah, I yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't mind. I, I, I kind of question it for a second. Um, 
And I think Draymond last night, I mean, obviously he had an anomaly game. He's not normally going to give you 21 points, right? So that that is different, but – the um I, I do want to see what it kind of looks like when he inserts Clay. I mean not Clay, pull into the starting lineup to kind of get a feel for what that the team can do a bit more offensively. I think that he kind of got a just that Kevin Looney can just be out there, man to paint, rebound, and that's more than enough defensively for that team instead of trying to get some more dynamic offensively. It just so happened that ironically enough, Draymond last night was a guy who actually gave them more offensive production than um Jordan Poole yet again. Poole is also in question, but it's it's Ticket was the one who called it where he said that Draymond needs to come off the bench and how much more productive he would be if he came off the bench. Ticket was yeah, the one in, who in called this, that. In this series, I yeah. do agree. Yeah. You you nah, I don't know no, no, just this agree. series, Mark. Ain't no, no just I, this no, series. Long to, no, long to, I disagree with you long term. I'm saying I agree with you in this series. Long term, I disagree with you. So I'm just saying why I agree and disagree. And someone in the chat said, I think it was, I think. Uh, I, I actually like him. I think Looney, I think Looney is better like that. I think Looney is better like that. Jesus, man, y'all mics is crazy. Okay, I, 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 I want to address the guy in the chat. I think I'm an Aries. He said if Dre has no star to play off, he, all his value is gone. I agree. I literally said as a number one option. He's I'm about gone. to say, Jesus. So please, please listen to me. Because everyone wants to disagree with me, and that's fine if you disagree. But to listen no. to the words coming out of my mouth before you say <laughs> they, dumb they stuff. Don't, they, don't they don't want to disagree. They just want to be heard. They don't even know what they're saying. Like, they just please, want to be please, heard. That's if you it. disagree, just say something in rebuttal to what I am right. saying, because I literally said Draymond Green is a number one, is egregious and worse than Carmelo. So I'm going to say it again very slowly for everyone. If you cannot win as a number one option, in my opinion, I do not care what you do as a number one. I do not care that you can make the playoffs with a bad team. It doesn't matter to me if you can make the playoffs and lose in round one. That doesn't bring me championship value. So I do not value it at all. Making the playoffs and losing. Hey, I'm, not, I'm, not, hey, done. Hey, I'm not done. I'm not mm. done. I'm not done. I'm not cap, done. Bro. Okay, call That's it cap, cap when I'm finished. Call it cap when I'm finished. Call it cap when I'm finished. If you can make the playoffs and lose, that doesn't move me. Now then I have to look at you and what I think you can do as the second best player on a high level team. If I think someone else is a better second best player on a high level team compared to the other person and neither of them can win as a number one, I'm going to say you are a better player because you bring more value at a championship high level. That is why I hold Draymond Green in such high regard compared to someone who was a number one who I don't think could have won. Okay, well, let me say this. First of all, it's easy to start about guys Draymond Scott Green. Griffin. Well, first of all, it's easy to say that about Draymond Green because Draymond Green was a beneficiary of playing with two of the greatest shooters that ever played a game of basketball and KD for a few years. That's first and foremost. Secondly, yes. sir, we have to look at Carmelo Anthony and understand that he played in a tougher Western Conference. So him not winning championships in the Western Conference for the majority of the time that he did spend his career should not be a knock. Because you were playing against Kobe Bryant in his prime. Because you were playing against Kevin Garnett in his prime. Because you were playing against Tim Duncan in his prime. And the list goes on and on and on and on. And then Ben and Jerry's. Like I said to you. So, at the end of the day, he did lead a team to the Western Conference Finals. He did lose to Kobe Bryant, which is no shame in that game. And so, like I said, mere bag of shells, sir. Bottom line is this, Mar. Ain't no way in hell you gonna convince anybody. And I mean anybody. That Draymond Green is better than Carmelo Anthony. Because, like I said again. You can put Draymond Green on damn near every other NBA team, and he doesn't have the same impact that he has with the Golden State Warriors as a role player. These are facts. Learn it. Write it down. Take a picture. And like I said, man, Mars. <laughs> I'm the best, baby. Okay, you convinced are you, me, are you, are you convinced done? me you Mars. Done? You convinced me, Mars. Okay. I'm with you. Ticket, are you done? Floor don't like Melo. He doesn't. Ticket, are you done? Because I'm, I'm going to respond. Because you nasty like that. You nasty like that, Floor. Your talks is a fraud. Ticket, are you done? Because I I let you respond and I didn't cut you off. When I respond, are you going to cut me off? I know like Fluent that. doesn't need Fluent agreeing. Like I know he hates Melo, so that's fine. I take it with a grain of salt. I'm I'm going to respond, and I would like you to not cut me off the same way I didn't cut you off. Okay. What I'm saying is Carmelo Anthony, yes, he didn't have a situation where I think it was feasible he could have won. I don't think he had any situation in Denver where it was realistic he could have won a championship. I agree. What I'm saying is Melo's game 
but you all see Melo's game, an isolation player who's a terrible passer, not a willing passer, and he's a ball stopper who's egregious on defense. That game in no situation ever manufactured can be the best player on a championship team. Put him in any situation, he cannot be the best player on a championship team. That is what I'm saying based on his game. I know he wasn't in a situation where it was possible. I'm saying in no situation known to mankind is it possible. Draymond Green is the exact same. In no situation known to mankind can Draymond Green be the best player on a championship team. It is not possible. So now I am saying as a number two player, Carmelo Anthony gets the exact same game I just described, a ball stopper who's a weak passer and is a non-willing passer who can't play defense as a second best player gives me less chance of winning a championship, in my opinion, than Draymond Green as the second best player based on the fact that he's the best defender of this generation. He's a very strong passer. He doesn't dominate the ball and he understands ball movement and systems, he can fit in a system better as the second best player than Carmelo Anthony can. That is not based so on the Carmelo situation Anthony. they have already been in. That's based on their games and what I have seen from them. So and Carmelo Anthony, sure so Carmelo Anthony, so, 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 so Carmelo Anthony, so Carmelo Anthony, for the record. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So, no, Carmelo Anthony, what? Go ahead, Tiki. You can ask your question. You can ask your question. No, I'm just going to say, he's saying Carmelo Anthony, uh, part of the big three in Miami doesn't win championship. He would be the second best player. He'll be third. Oh, yeah, he would. Come on. He no, will be not, the second best not, player. Not no, he would not. He would not be better than Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I'm saying, it's, hold on. I'm saying minus LeBron with a prime D Wade and a prime Carmelo. No, 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 no. They don't win. I don't think they won either. I don't think they win. Hold on. So you're going to tell me he got a team to the Western Conference Finals, took Kobe and them to the max in the Western Conference Finals with the team he had with the Nuggets. So minus, so minus Carmelo Anthony, so, my, so minus, minus LeBron, LeBron and adds Carmelo. My, my, minus LeBron James, that Denver team was significantly better than that Miami team in terms of depth. No, it wasn't. They the record. Yes, it was. The they were significantly it, better. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They're lying. They both won 16 games the year before. Maybe, maybe, I'm, confused. maybe I'm confused. Maybe I'm confused. Maybe I'm confused. Are maybe you talking about, wait, wait, are you still talking about this rookie of the year? Because I'm sick of this rookie of the year. Line. No, 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 no. I, I, don't, know, I don't know why we're going back. I don't know. Yeah, okay. going okay. I want to I I I be clear. Are we saying, because these were, this, this is derailing of crazy. Yeah, I, we can. I just, I, okay, fine. We can just move on. Because I just, because I don't, I don't know what's going on. Right Let's go. What, 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 what was that super chat? What was that super chat? What was that super chat? Hey, Warriors and Kings. You had a super chat hat. You had a super chat up where he said that Jason Kellogg said that. Uh, Draymond, Draymond, was, Draymond was not a star, right? So, oh, no, wait, what did you yeah. say? What did Chicken say? I mean, what did he, uh, said, he, say? he said the best of all time. Yes, he did. He said the best of all time. <laughs> and and Magic is the dude that... But anyway, like... you like so. <laughs> well, uh, hold on. I'm, I'm going to read it for you, Chill. Jason Kellogg said Draymond is a role player that complements the star. Right. Draymond is not the star or not right. a star. Draymond Correct. complements Melo, not vice versa. That's I, agree. The, I agree he's a role that, player. But right, I but that doesn't negate... Right, and that doesn't negate the fact of how important he is, which is what Mars is saying. Mars is based on Mars is based in his logic on value. So if you're going to use that logic, the same logic goes with Dennis Rodman. Dennis that's Rodman. That's what I was going to ask. That's right. what I was going to ask. That same logic goes with Dennis Rodman. And, and, and the thing is, Ticket genuinely understands this because he knows how good Ben Wallace was. He understands right. this idea. He fully can grasp it. It's just because it's Draymond right. Green. He doesn't like he, Draymond Green. Yeah, so I, I'm, it's the same reason I know you agree with me because you hate no, Carmelo. No, no, no. Well, I don't think no, Ticket would say no, Ben Wallace no, is better no, than No, he, would, he wouldn't know because he knows how he holds no, no, Carmelo no, no, very, no, very, very hard. But no, yeah, I know you would, but he that. understands oh, the concepts I'm getting at. That's what I'm saying. A bunch of you guys have said this, and I want to clarify because anytime you criticize Melo, likes, everyone's like, oh, you're a hater. You're agreeing with me because you hate Melo. I don't hate Melo. I just think he's overrated because of his offensive game. And to the point that, and that's why I agreed with the point you were making, because you're right. As a number one, he's not taking a team anywhere. As a number two, I think there's a lot of players who would be better in that role or as a number three than Melo is. That's actually the only point I've ever really said about Melo. Exceptional offensive scorer. But aside from that, Draymond, think, Draymond is not the guy. Draymond no, greatest. Not that's guy. not the same thing. No, it's not, no, it's it's not, not the same thing. Uh, greatest. People are genuinely just all oh, these dudes are so goofy, up. man. They make uh, me Will, sick. Will Chamberlain as, as a number one can win. How about Will Chamberlain as a number one can win? Will Chamberlain as a number one actually won. So I do want to say, I do want to say, we have to take. Go ahead, Dub. Go ahead. We do have to say Draymond Green. 
Draymond Green being the number two with a grain of salt because, like I said before, playing with the Golden State Warriors, playing with a guy like Seth, playing with a guy like Klay Thompson, even though – and they had a good bench as well with Sean Livingston and Andre Iguodala for a while. Yeah. Then in 2022, having uh, guys like Jordan Poole, Clay, who was still playing well, Stephen Curry, Andrew Wiggins, who has some yeah, offensive yeah. value. Like, the reason why – Draymond Green was able to excel as a number two for so long because there was a lot of offensive threats on the court, so he didn't have to be that's one of those guys. That's every number two, though. That's no, no, every. That's that's, not, that's, no. And like I said before, on that's, average, that's every for the majority of the time, your number two has to have the ability to score. Your number two has to be reliable for that. So in my opinion, in more cases than not, Carmelo Anthony is more valuable as a number two for me because as a number two guy, you need to have – I think it's almost a necessity oh, almost so every let single me ask time. You, let, me ask this, hold on, hold on, wait, let me ask you, Dub. Let me I ask you, Dub. That. Was Pippen, the, uh, the greatest number two maybe of all time, was Pippen a reliable scorer? And hold on. And if you take away his defense or his offense, which helps or hurts the team more? Sadie Pippen was a good scorer. 100%. Was he a reliable scorer? No, no, no. Like, no, okay. I, 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 not, but he was he right. was more reliable than Draymond on, Green. On, a that's lot not more what he reliable. Had, that's, that's not yeah, what he yeah, Scrape, Scrape is also hold substantially on, better than Draymond so, Green. So he's yeah, not, yeah, so he's yeah. better He's overall. not a reliable scorer. Hold on. We, so if you take away Pippen's offense or his defense, which hurts the team more? His, his defense, 100%. Okay. So the number two guy doesn't necessarily need to be a reliable but we're not But we're not arguing. You're arguing, you're arguing, Scotty, you're arguing, well, you're arguing a Scotty Pittman where I would just think that he will probably be – if you would say Scotty's better than Melo, I wouldn't argue with you. We're talking about Draymond Green. No, but he, no, but he no, that's, no, that's not his no, point. That's, no, not, that's no, not my I, point. My point was about the number two has to be a reliable scorer. And like, no, I, and like I said before, I said in majority of cases – that's so, what I said. It's okay, not those are two. Those are two. So why can't Draymond be the outlier? Because what Mar, on, what Mar no. said. In, in, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. My bad. Because what Mar said before, he said in majority of cases with Carmelo Anthony, I don't think at all where he could be a number one to a championship team. Oh yeah, based one, off right. of his game. Yeah, that's what he one. said. Based off yeah, of his game. Cases. Yes. Okay, that's what he said. I agree. So I'm making an opinion based off Draymond Green's game. In the majority of cases, even though there are exceptions, 100% in NBA history, in the majority of cases compared to Carmelo Anthony, I think as a number two, oh, Carmelo okay, Anthony. I okay, I Carmelo, you're, 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 you're saying, saying, you're saying Carmelo can have more success as a number two in more Ex situations than James. Yes, that's, and that's we a we valid opinion to have. There that's we go. That's where we disagree. That's 100%. That's 100%. That's where I was going. Like I said, I'm not saying Draymond just clears Carmelo. If someone says Carmelo can have more success in more situations than number two, I'm not going to argue that because I don't think that's ridiculous. Like, I'm not here saying Carmelo is incapable of doing these things. I'm just saying as a number one, he's incapable. And as a number Damn. two, I think Draymond provides more value. Dub cooking today? But if you, th if you think Carmelo today. provides more value in that situation, <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you. So, I, yeah, Dub, that's Yo, what can I we agree. get fluent? Are hmm. you willing to admit that Curry would be the – are you just trolling me right now? Are you saying that Curry would be the greatest point guard of all time? He was straight trolling you. No, 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 you, no, no. If I heard correctly, because obviously I was on the road. Yeah. If I heard correctly, is if yeah. the Warriors win the championship and and he's the MVP, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. I would. I would put him ahead of Magic. That's what I love to hear. Drop the ball. Do you have Magic top five? Or am I wrong? Uh, yes, I have. Does. I have Magic as number four all time. Which so you I, have Curry so, as a top five player? So, so, so no, Magic, not top five. Would, would Magic not, not top five. Down? I'd top three I'd player. I'd have to adjust. He's a yeah, top three You'd have to adjust. You'd move Magic to, down, wouldn't you? You'd move Magic down. Because I don't think you're putting Steph at number four. I would, I would move Magic down and move Curry up ahead of him, yeah. So you had Curry as a top work? five Wait, player? How does that Wait, no, sorry. You had Curry as a top five player? All time. Well, hold on. We have to wait because you know I don't rank players until. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. But well, it's so looking is, it, like, is it looking like? Is it looking like that's what's going to be? If that happens, he has the trajectory where he could, at minimum, be top seven. Tama, Tama, Tama. I have a question. This How is it that a I guy? It. Wait, I, I have a question it. though. How is it that a guy who's retired gonna move down? Because other people do things. Other people move up. What? No, no, wait, people wait, wait. Up. You have magic word top four. I have magic at four. So four. you will put Steph at four. I I have magic at four. Uh -huh. With the with the caveat, because I have Magic Four, Kobe at five, that it's, it it includes my Laker bias. Wait, oh, so you'd have oh, the you'd Laker have Steph, bias? You'd have Steph, so Steph is Kobe above, as well. above Kobe. We'd have to have that discussion. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 that's, <laughs> that's, fine, a, that's fine. And that's, fine. that's the real name well, that y'all will really have to start. A lot, a lot has to happen. A lot, but I've also said this. I said this to Chill yesterday on Fluent and Chill. I said if LeBron and the Lakers win the NBA championship and LeBron is the Finals MVP, what did I tell you, Jermaine? 
that LeBron is the best player of all time. Jermaine is crazy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> We're going to get to the bottom uh, of a couple of things today. Right, right. I actually, to be honest, hey, hold, 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 hold on, hold on, Lo. Hold on, Lowe. I made him repeat it. I wanted to yeah. make sure that I heard what I heard. Mm. I was like, Hold I on, rewind that. I want to make sure that I heard that correct. Wait, did you, what you, you, me, go, you, go, you, did you tell me? Did you did you tell me that if LeBron, if the Los Angeles Lakers won the NBA championship this year and LeBron James is the Finals MVP, he's the best ever? That means he goes ahead of Jordan. Yes, I just said that. I had I, to make sure that I, I heard what I heard. Winning, I value production. I value longevity. Yeah, I, I just wanted I, to make sure that I heard what I heard. Okay. I'm not, I, I'm where you going? Where I, am, you I try going? to be. I try with the, with the exception of my Laker bias. I try to be as consistent as possible with the uh -huh. way that I say. I look at everything, and if someone makes a valid point, if someone gives me information, if someone makes me look at something in a way that I hadn't looked at it before, and I'm like, oh, that makes sense. I will move my. I will move my stuff around. Like I, I had. Did I do that? What's that? I like to think that I do that. Yeah, with, no, with, I, I just, I, adm I admit that I do that. And that's why I say it can change. And that's yeah. why I keep saying I, I fought it and fought it with James, right? That I wouldn't put him in my top anything because I will not put active players in there. Yeah. But he just got to a point where I'm like, dude, it doesn't matter. Like, I have to put him there, but he's the one and only exception. I want to wait until they're done. No, so, like just, so now, like I say, okay. Just, so now, because even right now, you're going crazy. What I said about Steph, he still has to go do it. No, for sure. And I, right? Yeah. What we about to say, Doug? So my whole, my whole thing was, yo, we, I'm, I'm sorry, Doug. We got to We got to uh, move on. We, we, uh, we good. listen, listen, listen. Uh, ticket, hey, uh, ticket, got to answer these questions too because he was listen, willing we, to do we, hypotheticals we, with, for we, tomorrow. We, you capping about now, though? You, Ain't nobody capping no, about that. No, no, I'm just saying, you're willing to do the hypothetical with Giannis. So if Curry wins, what I'm is that? I'm not throwing the hypothetical. Hold on. I'm not throwing the hypothetical. Wait, 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 wait. Ticket, ticket, ticket. I got to get to these super chats. Hey, uh, I'm with you. Hold on. I ain't been sitting in two hours. I just want to say this. I didn't do no hypothetical. All I said was, and everybody probably would have agreed with it. If the man would have won another finals this year, MVP, everybody would have been talking about him and that same, and they put him in that same room. What is no, what is, you, you, you what start is with the word Curry? if. That's automatic. If, 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 Cur but Cur what if Curry does that this year? What does that mean, ticket, for you? You can be quick with the answer. If, oh, if Curry oh, shit. Oh, Curry, oh, Curry top way. He's top 10, top top 9, 8, something like that. All right. Go ahead, go, Ron. That's without a doubt. even no question. Go ahead, Ron. Listen, listen. He got five championships. Hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. Even though you lied to me. Hey, Ron. Even though you lied and said you was going to ask me about the Lakers, which all these dudes in here running their mouth about Giannis, but like I said, you seen Fluence shut his damn mouth when we was talking about when we got to talk about his boy AD. They they ain't here capping, but it's okay. Go ahead. Hear anything? Yeah, hey, you heard what I said. All right, L Buki Cub said, mm. "Is this your MVP ticket?" And Bud just there for a free courtside ticket. He is. Mm. He is. He's yeah. just. He's just a spectator. That's, that's hey, a hey, look, hold on. At least my MVP is like oh. played through injury. He didn't make no excuses. Go ahead. We yeah, you know everybody watches the show. We just got Bud fired if he didn't do it himself last night. Yeah, that's a fact. That is a fact. <laughs> we need to get fired, boy. Funny PFP said we puffing that Giannis pack, Damo. Mm. Damo mm. gone. Yeah, and we'll be puffing a Jason Tatum one in four days. Don't worry. Mm. Facts, facts. <laughs> no, if Jay, if Tatum and them can't, I want to see if that energy. I want to see if that energy is the same. I want to see if that energy is the same. Oh yeah. Blow that done. team up and fire the coach 100. percent Jalen Brown is not going to be. Oh, it's done. It's done. I'm, I'm praying for a game. Seven. I don't. If the Celtics lose to the Hawks, I want I everybody to come in here with two pairs of socks on, uh, uh, extra coat, uh, overcoat on top of that coat. Of uh, all the gloves, conversations I do not want to have, I do not want to have that conversation. I, I never want to hear you tell oh, me. Oh, yeah, you're a JT guy, right? I, I never want you to hear anything about JT. Yeah, didn't he, he, he have Tatum God. over Luca? No, he had close and close. He's the uh, uh, MVP caliber. <laughs> I've got yeah. something to talk about. I swear if this happens. All right, oh, next God, super chat from Matt Spear. He said, Giannis comments on failure brings up an interesting conversation. Is it fair to say some players function better when they don't see everything as a win slash failure and instead recognize a middle ground? For the, for those who don't know, when the question was presented to him by the same reporter that was asked about, do you see this year as a failure? And he said, no. Um, and in, in the shortest version, the bridge version, he just said, no, I don't, because it's, I see it all as a part of the process. Like, it's all just something to gain us for the next year. And an example that he used that, 
the MJ played 15, 16 years, only won six. So we're the other nine years of failure. That, that's what he said. Now, and now, also, let me, and let also, let me, also let me add in, yeah, let me add in because Jamel Hill was like uh, talking about um, she went to reporter school and there's certain words that you stay away from. And she would have, and she said, if that reporter asked if this was a disappointing year, he would have got a different response, which would have been, yes, it's disappointing because we want to win a championship. But he specifically used the word failure yeah. to trigger yeah. him. And, and let me say this, and let me say that, and I said it at the beginning of the show, this season as the number one seed, as an MVP candidate, um, it is a failure. It is a failure because you're the number one seed. So to, to try to use the comparison, well, Jordan won six out of the other nine failures. Were, were they failures? Well, was he the number one seed? Because if no, he was, then yeah, they were failures. And it also and it also doesn't help that this is the same yeah, reporter when they lo- when they lost to the Boston Celtics last year, asked him the same question. Right. And he was yeah. already fuming from his trigger. So. But yeah, if you're the number one seed with the MVP player, best player in, in basketball, and you lose to an eight, I don't care how well the eight played, it's a failure. So that's to a- at- Go ahead, go down, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I, I like the fact you said that. My issue with people, not you guys up here, but just people in general, right? Oh, my God. That's why I say y'all give this man so much slack. If this was Kevin Durant saying this, if this was Kevin Durant saying the same roasted. exact thing, y'all would have roasted him. He's running from the grind. He's running from the grind. He's running from the grind. Not you, Floyd. I said in the chat. Not you. No, no. You said so you're good. Everybody. And ticket, ticket. You're good. You're good, too, because I know you. You've been on Giannis. You've been giving him hell. Yeah, when I see the comments. Uh, 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 on TikTok, when I see the comments on IG where Giannis, oh yeah, Giannis is spitting, Giannis is spitting, get the hell out of here. If that was Kevin Durant, oh, y'all would have crucified that man, yeah. say that this was Imagine a failure. Imagine if it was LeBron James. James, James too. Yeah, if James, it was LeBron. James, 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 James. James. number yeah. one seed, which he was twice and didn't make the final, coming out and saying in the press conference, well, it's not a failure. In the, in the first it's round. Yeah, in the first, the first round. round killed. To the, they would have yeah. killed him. Killed. But, and I, but to answer the, answer the question, Ron. In a degree, I understand that, yes, it, it probably does give him a better outlook. The only reason why I, even I would argue that it is indeed a failure, not necessarily that you lost, it's the way in which you lost. He lost in the way in which everybody knew that he had a deficiency in his game against a team that a lot of people thought was going to be a really bad matchup. and You lost in basically the same way you lost back in 2020. So you could very well argue that certain aspects of your game you need to address that you just have not addressed yet. So, yeah, I would call Hey, man, that. look, I'm going to tell y'all like this, dog. I'm going to say it like this, man. Bro, I ain't give Giannis no excuse. I do want to see what the, what the bounce back going to be next year. Last time Giannis got embarrassed like this, he came back and won a championship. And so I want to see what the bounce back is going to be. I do think they got to make moves with the coach, and I think that they got to get Middleton out of there because Holiday shouldn't be dependent on the score. But he, I, I wouldn't just move off of him. But Middleton, with his injuries and stuff, to me, I would be looking to move to shop him to move him, bro. I'm not trusting him going in the next season, bro. You know, and, and one, one, more, one more thing, one more thing. Bobby Porter's was a disappointment, bro. You got paid fifty million dollars, bro, and didn't do a damn thing but get cussed out by you, Donis Hasler. I don't, I don't, I don't think they played him enough. I don't I don't think think played think him think enough. brought up a point that I don't want it to go overlooked. What Giannis does from here is just as important as what, as what he did in these playoffs. And I've used the example of LeBron where number one seed, number one seed, doesn't make the final, doesn't make the final, goes to Miami, everyone criticizes him for it, plays shit, they lose. What do you do after that? Comes back and looks even better than this ever. This is why yes. I have what I have. This is why I have why I have. Because I care about that. I care about how you recover. You do, how you, re- yeah, how you, you fail. I, I've failure. said that before. So. Yeah, it's easy um, to put your head down and, and yep. stop shooting and get yourself out of the league, Ben Simmons. Hey, Ron, it's about that time for me, brother. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, about yeah. that time for me, brother. But uh, <laughs> All right, I, we, we'll be back tomorrow to do it again. Y'all know y'all know where to find me at if you need me. Out. Yeah, tell Dub. What you got? Oh, you got to take, take your vitamins, don't, don't, old man? Don't worry about, don't worry about me, Chicken. Do your thing. Yeah, bring me your back in here tomorrow. Don't concern, don't concern, I, got for, I got something for you tomorrow. Don't you worry. I got something for you tomorrow. What's about no, take it light, but take it. Ah, uh, no, nah, don't. Damn, yeah, man, he left. All, man. all right, y'all. Let me let me run through a few of these super chats right, right quick. El host. Bruno Montiero said, "Meat and potatoes. The long ball line from the stripe. Keep the defenders honest. The logic. Glass cleaner. Turn your brain off. <laughs> Dog fight. Dirty work, guys." Oh man, the chill town. That's a chill. Right that's a chill town. It feels like it feels like, like chill is still here with us. It that, like, that, that, is, that, that is not really chill. That is a book of uh, chillisms that we are working on. It is you coming. Forgot, up. You forgot one more. Give it to him. I don't Give know why him. he loves saying that. Oh, crash my <laughs> or, or also shove it down their throat. 
I don't know. Yeah, what yeah. Choke jobs. That's what he's going to do right now. Okay. Oh, what? My what? Oh, oh my, my God. goodness. <laughs> All right, y'all. Moving along. That was. Oh my God. That was a dub. Right. I, I just channeled my inner dub. Brian Holiday said Bucks need to do one of three things: double down on defense and great wing defenders. Mm-hmm. Two, get a better offensive creator. Three, fire Bud and get a coach that will make better in-game adjustments. They need to do two or three. Two things. or the three. They, the last two things they need to do. That's what they need to do. They got good defenders. They were just yeah. getting cooked. <laughs> like, and, and, and running one single coverage again, knowing yeah, that I'm, KD cooked them like that insane. two years ago. That was insane. That was insane. Funny PFP said Jimmy was watching Larry Bird footage, so his trash talk was AI. I don't mm. all time. I don't know. I don't know. Shout out to Jimmy though, man. That was crazy. Man. Fool Boomer said, shout out to Ticket for being consistent and not having favorites. He rightfully cooked Greek mm-hmm. cheeks <laughs> for that choke job. <laughs> That's a fact. A1. A1. That's what he meant. Not AI. Oh, A1. Okay. Donovan Samuel said, no excuse for the Bucks. Even the refs were trying to help the Bucks win. I'm at a loss of words. Facts. That loud and foul cool is crazy. Oh but God. the Jimmy Butler push off, I mean. Like, that was also crazy as well. It, it balanced itself out. That Chris Keith somehow yeah, Chris somebody, hey, look, threw him across the um, paint. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Hey, hey, I wouldn't be surprised if he don't do another playoff game. The ref who didn't call it. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he don't do another playoff game this year. Yeah, that was a terrible, terrible no Justin DW said, I promise if Duncan Rob touches the floor, this is over. Brunson's switch to him is just food. Plus, RJ has been stepping up, shaking my head, next to the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah, Duncan we- Robinson can call Julius Randle, man. We could hide so, Duncan Robinson. It's fun. Yeah, just put him on Julius Randle. And he don't even play a lot of minutes, so it's like, why are you even saying what that? Is, what is all this, Y'all talking all this shit about Giannis. Y'all ain't said nothing about Spidey. God, no. Facts. Uh, Facts. About who? Facts. Dub. Dub, Dub, you want me to start uh-huh. cooking up right now? Run. I want. I want us to read these super chats. I want to read these super chats. It's open. Yeah, I want. I want to read these super chats. I want to read these super chats. Yo, run, 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 run! Don't make, don't make me expose how many super chats you ain't read, run. Don't make me expose how many. Hey, ticket, you see? All of a sudden, now it's time to start talking about Donovan Mitchell. Now they want to read super chats. My I, God, I, 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 want, I want people to get their money's worth. Well. Now I know that. I want, I want people to get their money's worth. That's what I want. No, 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 no. If you want people just, to get their money's worth, just so you know, on Fluent and Phil, we read all the super chats on Fluent and Phil. As the host, it's your job to just say we're reading super chats now. Everyone, Uncle Jim reads all their super chats. We let Doug and 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 Mars off the hook. Don't let him off the hook. Facts, we could do facts. this all nah, open. Nah, I'm not some son of a Mitchell. We could literally do this all open, Joe. I'm fine with it. I, I don't know what happened. Do what, but, what, but what are y'all going to criticize? Because that that boy, that, that front court out in Cleveland. Oh my God, it's Jesus. terrible. Man, that's really super chess. Yeah. They don't got half. The, they don't got half the energy. They don't have half the energy for Spidey. Even though Mars is sitting up here. Oh, this is a pretty easy series for the Cavs. Yeah, that's what he said. But don't nobody remember that. Nobody no, called no, I, for I, 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 I said that. I said, I, I said a few hours ago I was clearly wrong. Everybody was wrong about that. that. See, I, I owed yeah. when I was wrong and I just stood on it. Like, it's fine. I just don't feel, I don't feel the same energy for Spidey Mitchell. I don't feel the same energy for him. That's all I'm, I'm saying. Gonna, I'm not going to lie. One was called the best in the world and one is what? Top 15? Like, of course, you're not going to get the same energy. But it's fine. It's super chats. Let's go. Mm. Ace <laughs> 30 said, Why is Giannis a power forward expected to guard the opposing team's best perimeter score? I don't recall KG or Duncan being asked to do it. KG, 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 KG could, KG, KG could, could yeah. but I, I, Giannis shouldn't be asked to do it because that's never been what Giannis is an on ball defender. People are just trying to find agree. ways to figure out what the Bucks should have done. What they should have done is not play a deep drop and play Jimmy Butler one on one. They shouldn't have done that the whole time. That's what they shouldn't have done. It's not about Giannis guarding Jimmy Butler. No, that was crazy. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> that is actually hilarious. No, no, read, read it. Read it. it. Read, it. read it. And you, you still it. Don't read it. The, the wow. super chats get read chronologically. That's crazy. That no, you there's literally no decided not to read that. That's crazy. Donovan Samuel said right. the refs were bad all around. I think the Bucks benefited more from the calls. At the end of the day, Giannis got to make his free throws. That was the difference. We we've been knew Giannis can't yeah. make free throws consistently. People had to like that game six in the finals was just, oh, Yanis, he can make them when it matters. 
No, not really. He just had a very good game. He also had a down, Giannis did have a down shooting year versus the previous year this year. So 2021 was the outlier year. Yeah. That's what I would. It was the outlier year. We yes, we so said I, that to I've chill, but that. we were told that. He just needs to turn his brain off. He just needs to turn his brain off. If he turned his brain off, he's fine. But we try to tell that to chill, man. That's tough. You're a hater. You're trying to take it away. Criticize people, or else you're a hater. I know. Jesus that. Yeah, Christ. Yeah. Sad, I don't man. know. No, I think you are a hater, Melo. I'm not even gonna hold you. I <laughs> yeah, think so you're really <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm not even gonna hold you. Uh, oh. Super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat. Yeah, super chat. Khalil Young <laughs> said, "I think the Nuggets versus Sun series will be decided by how good of a job Denver does of taking KD out the series and forcing Booker and Aiton to handle the majority of the load. Murray has to ball out as well." I think I said the other day, I think it's decided entirely on how well KD plays defensively. Because I think KD is going to be the key to the series defensively. He's going to have to guard Aaron Gordon and stop every single interior pass Jokic is going to throw, which is about to be 4,000 a game on that sloppy Phoenix Suns defense. I don't think either team can stop the other. I think KD is the key to the series defensively. So you're picking the Nuggets? I want to see game one. (laughs) <laughs> oh, that's a cop out. I actually, I actually think the Nuggets are gonna win. I think Nuggets gonna win this series. I want to see game one. All right, y'all. G Baby chimed in and said, "I remember when everyone was so happy at the trade deadline about the teammates they got. Now look at how we're talking about them teammates they got. The that's- Lakers still are a better team than they were before the trade deadline. I just said, I said to Dub Malik Beasley is not." Malik Beasley's not a needle mover. I just like Jared Vanderbilt. No, that Jared is Vanderbilt. true. Jared, about that. Jared, yeah. Jared Vanderbilt was the one because I was. Yeah, pick up. You, Dub, you remember I was campaigning for Jared Vanderbilt to the Warriors the whole year. Oh yeah, nah, he been he been all, ever the since March got on the show. Year. He's been loving Jared Vanderbilt ever so, ever since he got on the so, show. Just, that was a great like pickup. And, and quite frankly, if it wasn't for the improvement of Austin Reeves, boy, the yeah, Lakers. I, I didn't see. I didn't see that one coming. I would say I was wrong about Malik Beasley. I did not expect him to play this bad. Yeah. This is crazy. He's a fake shooter, man. Fake shooter. I said he's a fake shooter. Is wild, bro. I, th- I thought he would be super better. Chat, super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat. Yeah, Ron, super chat, man. At least, at least cut it to like 212. Like, you can't have 500 up there. Uh, yeah, we probably only gonna get to about six. <laughs> Big wow. Ben said, oh, saying, it, saying it before Curry wins this year, he been top 10. Put some respect on his name. Thank you. Thank you. Well, no one's talking about top 10. We're talking about is he over magic? It wasn't. Yeah, no, no, no. But when, when, when you was out I have for a second, there were there were some. Oh, he, oh, he'll be oh okay. ten, number ten or number nine, maybe. Steph is gonna get in my top ten by the end of this postseason. It looks Steph, like. Steph is, you're gonna have a really hard time keeping, especially if he wins another MVP and a, and a chip, to keep him out of anything when he's the greatest shooter of all time, an Thank elite you. ball handler, an elite ball a playmaker, like. I am not a horrible defender. Like, there's just you can't have the greatest shooter of all shots. I don't care, free throw, three point, whatever, and all those titles. No, you can't. How can you not have that person in your top ten? Ron, God, Lee, Ron, we can get to these chats, man. I'm trying to get you guys money's worth, chat. You can send it over to Open Gym. Let me let me do my job. Let me do my job. Read all of them. Yeah. Carolina Knicks fans say, can we talk about how Mitchell Robinson? Named his two sons, Jared Allen and Evan Moe. He was dominating them on the glass. <laughs> Yo, that is something I did not expect. Hey, Mitch is slept on for real. Mitch is sca- That's who scared yeah, me good. versus good. Miami. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, Mitchell your Robinson rebound, your rebound yeah, Oh, right. my God. Yeah. I, that scares me, bro. I'm not even going to hold you. you. Just so you know, Bob's going to cook you if you guys get killed in the glass against the Knicks. I know. I know. It's going to be so annoying. But I don't give a damn. We beat the Bucks. Let's All right, hey, ladies, 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 ladies and gentlemen, ladies, Run. ladies and gentlemen, Run. open gym, Run. ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, this is the last super chat that will be read this wow. this day today by the greatest. He said, "Everyone on the panel apologize for picking against the Knicks." Damo is dreamers low. He combined YouTubers like Voltron and Mars Bars fight back. Run, about, mid, run, 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 miss seventy-two super chats. We're guys. gonna end. We're gonna end the show on it's that actually one. seventy-four. So we're gonna end worse. the show on that one. Shout out that's to Lobo. That's the worst one. To, that's the worst one. Uh, uh, open, right, open, so open, open gym, gym reads. I'll read the West one. I'll read the West. We're taking my talents to Open Gym. They read super chats. Mm. Get out of here, Dub. You too, Mars. Y'all gotta go to Open Gym. Why'd you love me? Why'd you let Dub on the show anyway? Y'all know where to find us. Until then, take it light. Take it lightest.